Shamange Parata, Menka Perekatila Mante, Liva Vanam Babaka Prakatela Bika, Ojananga Parabakatela Bistia, Rafifa Kaparapakatela Bastia, Mante Kaparabakatela Biste, Mande Deba, Masa Saba, Makakaba, Mashi Shabi. Make kapara bakatela pakatela bakatala bashta makaka kapara bakatela baka mentala bakatela bashta make kapase sapata ombra katale babananga prakatela piga rimaka kapresti fetche bila mercy lord jesus ambaka prakatela binogati mange kapara bakatela pina gati alabaka Rami kaka pisto fene bachi, o jenange prakatila baka parate, mande de daba, mande da babila, mante tapika papa papa, manke kapila baka tela pisto, indo kaprahasta paliba baki avashta, mante te plahasta palabaka, messi lord Jesus, mange prakatila baka frete baliba bate, messi, 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 oh wa 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 wa. Nashega paraba katela binia, mante kapra kastu fefe jemi, mante kapra hasta paliga barute, mente kaparaba gatela bista, manjaliga baraba kafife telibadia, rimanga prahasta pariga barute viste, manke kapara makasise patabia, mante kaparaba kasesipate. Jamanga parabaga fefete, inda barato, kaparita, parabaka, finagate, paradapa, masasiba, makateba, makatabia, make kapate, 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 basa sucheva, matete paraba davadia, montete paraba davadia, masa soka paraba bajata. Maka ki para bagashete be, inga prakate la baka te la baka, ujande kapara bakata. I want us to pray with our spirit. Let's pray in tongues. Everyone, let's pray. Kabaka te shabi, mante kapreste vi, makaka prekatila bateva, mansa se prahaste felishta ba, mante te para bakatushta ba, masa se palina manje. Maka kapira gabate feneshta uzande barakate balia rakika parasta palia mantete parabakatiba masa suta masa sate masa suta masa sapate masa suta masa sapate masa suta masa sapate masa suta masa sapate masa suta masa sepepatisha oko pepetefia masa sapapa. Masse sa pachita, makake papa sasa, empreke ti papa shte, usasa pa kapika, raminga para batefa, mashata para bakatifa, messi sa paruste pelia, menta kiki papa shta, mente papa ki papa da, manke ki papa ti fa fenia, manke kapi papa sasafe, mante ki papa ti fa feti abache, inja bara makatepa, messi Lord Jesus. Mende kapara baka tila baka. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I want us to open our Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, um, verse 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11. Um, the Apostle Paul was telling the Corinthian church that, O ye Corinthians, our mouth is opened unto you. Our heart is enlarged. Ye are not straightened in us, but ye are straightened in your own bowels. Now for a recompense in the same, I speak as unto my children, be ye also enlarged. So um, from this scripture, we can see that um, it's possible that the mouth of the Lord can be opened to a people. Like Paul was saying, our mouth is opened. In this season of the Corinthian church, um, Paul was speaking things everlasting, things of glory. And he opened his mouth. He enlarged his heart. When the Lord wants to open his mouth, he speaks, you know, mysteries, um, details 
you know, of Scripture. Now, but Paul was beseeching them that they also should be enlarged, meaning a people can be straightened within, meaning your heart is not as enlarged as the mouth of the Lord. So you won't have breakthrough. You won't have, you know, entrance into the world because you are narrowed in your mind. You are narrowed in your heart. You are straightened in how you want the Lord to, you know, say things. Like, you know, people complaining that, that in expanding, why is it, you know, why, why is it opening and it's just opening, is an unending flow, is a sign of being straightened within. You know, you can't take much, you know. Of, there are still many, many things about this Bible that we will never say in this world. Is in the world to come that we are going. It's just that which is enough to make us sit on the throne is what to be said. The actual learning of God continues in the world to come. We'll never ever stop learning the Bible. And so the Bible is much. The Bible is plenty. We'll keep seeing new things from Scripture because God is new every morning. And so there's no time you will say, oh, is this thing not going to end? Why is the division, you know, why are we still dividing and dividing? If we are going to take all of God, like in Revelation chapter 10 that says that the mysteries of God should be finished, then our hearts must be enlarged. Our hearts must be enlarged. The Lord must show us mercy and hope, give us capacity for more. Your heart can be so enlarged that, you know, so much is given and you still want more because you are wide within. You know, if Paul says this people's heart is straightened, then this, this is an operation of sin and death. It's an operation of iniquity to narrow a people's mind towards God. But the Lord gave us mercy and tear our heart, enlarge our heart, give us capacity to take his speaking. So I want us to open our mouth and pray that the Lord will show us great mercy because, you know, I notice so much is coming, you know, and somewhere I just perceive our participation is not still, you know, um, we are not participating ultimately the way the Lord wants us to participate. You know, can we pray that the Lord will enlarge our hearts? The Lord will show us mercy, show you personal mercy, show us congregational mercy to enlarge our hearts to the current speakings of the Lord in our midst. I want you to open your mouth and pray. Pray, pray. Inga prahasa siva ninja kabilotia. Menka prekatila makoka fifeti abaki. Inga barama koko fache baramba batia faneja bila. Indika paranda kapilo za sapi atama. Ijama ka frempa pigo friaga puriga shashe. Minga prekatila makapora gista figa baria. Masanso se fefe nijami kakapia. Menjola majela mijala majola majila majola majalea. Are you praying with an expectation? Are you praying wanting to receive answer? Operations of the spirit that causes enlargement of art. Let it rest upon me. Let it rest upon us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yama jabaya baka ujamika pipi lavi embaka prekasi sovina ibani jamande ejamika purigate ajima kapurigate ajima kapurigemansa ajima kapurigeminga pachi ajima kapari kapushe vete injama kapari baba enjuna kapapa yegapira bajate antale papake fefetima kaparia manjama kake papa kafe tabialaba ambe kapapa ya gafina kachita majena kapiro gave mazansa sapina gapiri ataba majanja magafe fatima made baraba kapiro gavina kapia in the name of the lord jesus we ask that you enlarge our hearts we ask that you enlarge ababa leba enlarge the bowels of our hearts lord in the name of Jesus, Evivi Gabaru de Vinia, Mansa Soka Fife Geperida, Makaka Paraba Kafida Baya, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Yama Jamaka Papa, let there be art enlargement, increase our capacity for the mystery of the Father, increase our capacity for the mystery of the Son, 
increase our capacity for details increase our capacity for god increase our capacity for the speakings of elohim increase our capacity in the name of the lord jesus upgrade our mind upgrade our judgment upgrade our hearts lord increase my capacity in the name of jesus you will you would widen every part of me that is straightened in the name of the lord jesus operations of the spirit operations of the holy ghost for art enlargement for capacity we will not be weary in our mind for funny man joe periga Uzanka prakatila bakoti abata Embaka kepa bafenenje Uzante prakatila mande papa Mande kapapa dina mange parastia Uzenka prakatila manje Laba koko fete bi Menza sambaba Menka prakatila mante Uzanka prakatule mante Ampeka prakatala bato Eshinga prakatila beka pasa Inga prata venama O caprakata venama, e caprakata venama, e caprakata vena minja, o caprakate la pica fatima, mande caprakate la pica, ramika capa pasha tivalia, mange caprakate la mante prahasta, udenenga prakate la baka, mante pleketu shabaya, o zanka prakate la bake, mante te plahanta kapalito, mante te plakasa sabialaba. Mercy, Lord Jesus, enlarge our hearts, our Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. You know, um, the actual learning of uh, mankind is God. You know, when God created Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, he put them in the Garden to learn God. God is the education of man. And when man fell, when sin and death entered into humanity, man fell into flesh, you know, Christ was God's project of bringing us to the place where we can learn God. So Christ is God's answer to upgrade flesh to the place where he can start the actual learning. Christ is not the, Christ is not the learning of God. Christ is God's response to man to upgrade him to the place where he can begin to learn God. So all we have learned proud to this time, faith, hope, charity, is God restoring us to, to gaining admission to now begin to learn, you know. But something about iniquity is that iniquity makes you weary and makes you think that Christ is actually the learning. But Christ is not the learning of God at all. Christ is God restoring us to the place where we can now begin to learn. And God is wide. God is big. God is plenty. God, God is, is a mystery, you know. Um, Daddy always said that anyone who is lazy cannot sit on the throne. Anyone who is lazy spiritually cannot sit on the throne, you know. In fact, in Anamnesis, he said that there is a learning of God that has nothing to do with iniquity as a reference point. Meaning, what, uh, Christ in life, there is, we are still dealing with iniquity. When we get to eternal life, you'll be learning God raw without any reference to sin, any reference to death. And you know, the, we are used to a learning of God, you know, in reference to envy, malice. But what if there is no envy, there is no malice, and what we will be learning, you know, and that's eternal life, you know. So I want us to pray for understanding. I want us to pray for understanding. A lot has been said in this meeting about the ways of God, you know, but if we don't understand the alignment of God, if we don't understand the doctrine of God, the ways of God will not be open to us. The Holy Ghost can only lead you as much as you understand God. So if there is no understanding in you, if you, if you get it lopsided concerning the issue of the Son, the Father, you know, truth, love. If you have it lopsided, the Holy Ghost cannot do much in leading you. So we can't throw away knowledge, you know. We can't throw away knowledge. We need to have understanding of knowledge so that the Holy Ghost can lead us in the way. I want us to pray. You know, I perceive Daddy, Daddy is saying a whole lot of things that are new, new to our minds, 
you know, and we need the spirit of wisdom and revelation to aid us to take the thoughts that is in God's servants in this season. I want us to pray that a fresh spirit of understanding will come upon us as a company. We are going to understand what daddy is saying. We are going to understand the thoughts that the Lord Jesus has put in the heart of his servant. I want you to open your mouth and pray. I don't want you to assume that you have great understanding. I want you to pray. Help me to flow with the frequency of your servant. Help me to flow with the frequency of your servant in the name of Jesus. Help us as a company. We are going to come into understanding. O Daminga Parazina Machabila Marabatia. Ibamba be kapiro zo sofeni. E deme gabarato to mi ge kepashe shamande. I gebina kakapiro makasasa. O denange paradapia. Mesanso sefina. Le bande fanaje. Indalabasha tiba. I am praying for understanding for my mind. La beru ge kepetia. Give me grace to understand even the alignment of the mystery of everlasting life. Yamanjo Pepete. Help me to see every detail that you want me to see in the name of the Lord Jesus. I am not just going to tag along as the meeting goes on. No, I am going to fellowship. I'm going to have breakthrough into the thoughts of your servant. You will help us not to lag behind. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are asking for ministering spirits that can aid understanding. Ministering spirits that will aid understanding for everyone. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So we can fellowship at the high frequency that you are coming. At the frequency of your speakings. Yeah, cause us to understand. E balude vanijamante. Uke prehete palita. We ask, O oh Lord, our Father, Ejana Kaparenga Pateva Ninja, baptize us with interest. Baptize us with interest. Cause our soul to be interested in the revelation knowledge. Cause our souls to be interested in the order of scripture. Cause our souls to be interested in the ordinances of the life of the Father and the Son. Cause our hearts, O oh Lord, to demina manja bakatila cause my heart oh lord to be an inquirer in the name of the lord jesus let the spirit of wisdom the spirit of revelation the spirit of fresh hunger let it baptize my heart like never before in the name of the lord jesus you will grant us grace you will grant us grace to break into understanding abaniga baradamashi O zenta prekatila manja, e kaparaba katila bati abata. Mante ke papativa, mentu te pila bashte, izanko ko freketila manja, o daminga paraba katila mange, le baba ke kafi fenianjota, la bedia basa, lo fe feninja ba, rake kapino zete, le babanka frekatiba, mante kapilo jamante, le babenko kofidia, o zanka prekatila, le bananso sefila, manke kapila bachi abaka. O tenange papa si sofe in the name of the Lord Jesus and blada bayanga froteba. Mercy, Lord Jesus, you will help us, our Father. You will help us, our Father. Bless my heart with great understanding. Bless my heart with great understanding. Bless my heart with great understanding. He demand de capressa si bachi. He demand de se se bicha baka. Atu venenjo preheste pila batia. Messi Lord Jesus. Am ba 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 ba. In Jesus name we have prayed. I perceive that there is a place in utterance that we ought to get in this meeting that we have not gotten to yet. You know, many things have come outside. God has granted us utterance. God has granted his servant utterance. You know, but there is strength of utterance. You know, strength of utterance can increase. And that would gush out, you know, mightily. We will go far 
in this topic, the father and the son. Many things can be said, but we, we, we may not go as far as the Lord wants us to get to if, you know, his servant, you know, is limited in utterance. I don't want us to make it like a cliche. I want us to pray fervently in our hearts that the Lord will grant his servant utterance, that he won't struggle with words. He won't struggle with the thoughts of God. You know, things that you ought to play where we are supposed to get to tonight, we are going to get there. You know, we're going to get there. There's, God will grant his servants great speed, you know, into his thoughts. I want us to open our mouth and begin to pray that the Lord will push out the words that are in the spirit of his servant. It will come out with great intensity, with great intensity. I want us to open our mouth and pray, 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 pray. I jamina manto fita peliga patiba ya mama ya mina mama makeka fi makapa re papa difania o jania kakapa machida bayeta majena mante prahate fai makeka fi fenija makeka fi fenaji makeka fi fenegina makeka fe fenije ba makeka fe fenija mina. Makeka fefeni jamini amba. Makeka fefeni jamini emba. Makeka fefeni jamanji. Makeka fifache pila bate finabeta pila bata. Yamana yamina yapati bakate. Ozeni akapure. Ozeni akaparito. Ozeni akapiramenta. Ozeni akapure gasia. Osiate baka patiba. Emprehente kapila machepa lita. Oza aba abela bapa. Leba de na kiki paria. Mante te pali papate. Mansa sika freke pila machita baya. Ozianka papa. E jamika ke parita vina. Emprase sufedema. Leba banto plekatila baka. Are we praying? Are we praying? I want you to focus on the prayer point and ask. Focus on the petition. Let's focus on the petition and ask the Father in the name of His Son Jesus that a mighty door of utterance, that you increase the strength of utterance. You increase the strength of utterance upon your servant in the name of the Lord Jesus. O veniga parizo sofi debaya. Mbilono abilama e kabila o zezene ibabaye make kapila manche. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Ababa yaka fi fonento plehesti balia, mansa so kaparata ba. We are asking, O Lord, wayema kaka pilosti vanya, so that we can get to that which you have for us. Even in this meeting, we are asking, O Lord, that you bless your servant with great utterance, utterance, increase utterance, increase utterance. For Fenimam Baba, things that pertain to the Son and the Father that we have not seen before, that you will open it. You will open it by your mercy. You will open it. You will open it. We ask that you open doors for us. We ask that you open doors for us. Doors into the world of the Father and the Son. Doors into the world of the beginning. We ask that you open many, many doors for your servant. We ask that you open many, many doors for your servant. We ask that you open many, many doors for your servant. In the name of the Lord Jesus. O Venange Prahatafina. We ask that you open many doors. You will open doors for your servant. You will open doors for us as a people. You will open doors for us as a people. We pray, show us mercy. Show us mercy. Cause our eyes to behold. Yamanka papata balabakata. Give us exceeding great and precious promises. Cause us to see great things. Cause us to see exceedingly great things. Cause us to see exceedingly precious things. Yea, so that we can be partakers of the divine nature. In the number bache fenigabata. Open it, our Father. Open it for us, Jesus. In bake frahanto kapalita. Mercy, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Finally, I want us to pray that the Lord will bless us with interest for the word of God tonight. That we're not going to tag along. We're not just going to, you know, just be tagging along and waiting for daddy to end. That we'll be looking for something as he's ministering. Because that's what affects utterance. When a lot of people are looking for, for something, 
things will open up. I want us to pray that the Lord will do a work in us. That it would it will steer up our interests for the mystery of the Father. For the mystery of the Son. Supernaturally will be interested. Supernaturally would hunger. Supernaturally would test. Supernaturally will pull things from the heart of the of God. Can we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus? In Barbarama Casti Prehende Valina. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Wajena Kima Capra Hansto Felida Manga. Bless us, Lord. Bless us, Lord. Gemina, Revina, Kabiro, Castiba, Mantebia, Rengato, Plehenta, Plagista, Prahanso, Ingapra, Casica, Palata, Pila, Antica, Prohonka, Fina, Capiga, Pariatoba, Empleto, Finagate, Prestiva, Odina, Mandepre, Mekafia, Ozan, Dabi, Naga, Rivan, Debran, Devila, Lebango, Frecapia, Dovina, Indoki, Barrios, Oso, Indaco, Prehen, Shotabi, La Ben Dofla Hande Gabali, Leba Baka Fila Monte, Uzanka Preketila Batovi, Remando Precasita, Leba Baka Felebedila, Messi Lord Jesus, Abaruga Perida Baya, Manke Kepalapa Kateka Purigata, you will help us, Lord, to follow your spirit, you will help us, Lord, to follow your word, you will help us, Lord. To follow ministering spirit, you will steer us up, you will energize us, you will energize us, you will quicken us, you will cause us to be alive, even with your speakings, our God. Ibalama Kapirista Baniakata, O Jaminga Parista Paliga Parista. We bless you, our Father. Can we raise our hands and appreciate God and give God all the glory? We thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Exalted, the king is exalted on high. I will praise him, he is exalted forever, exalted on high.
is the message that we have heard of him. And we declare, we declare unto all that God is life. And life is God. And life is God. He is our Father. Our Father. This is the message that we have heard of. Man. 
You are God, 
the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We give God thanks for uh, another wonderful time in its presence. It's been blessings upon blessings from the one of Canada SOS year 2023. The Lord Jesus has shown us great mercy through his servant um, our daddy and our mommy, all the ministers of God that the Lord has used to bring peace word to us in this um, year's Canada School of the Spirit. Amen. All right. I uh, would like to thank, start by appreciating the Lord Jesus for our dad, uh, uh, God's servant, Reverend Kayode Oyegoke. One that uh, one would eternally be grateful to Jesus for for meeting on this side of eternity. Um, God would always raise a man, and that's the beauty of what God is doing and will keep doing. Uh, it's a thing of great joy that every one of us we have um, our loins are tied to that of Daddy. Uh, and our dear mommy, God's handmaiden, our mommy, Reverend Elaine Oyegoke. Uh, it's good to have parents in the Lord, you know, and it's good to have parents. I remember celebrating my 40th birthday last year, and um, I was wearing some clothes and came for the shoot. And I was just laughing. I said, Why are you laughing? I said, It's good to have parents too. <laughs>
Robert Savant, a daddy, Reverend Cardi, okay, and our dear mom, mommy, Helene, oh, you go, okay. It's a beauty knowing them. Amen. Uh, I would also like to give thanks to God for uh, our dear pastors over there in UK, uh, starting from God's servant, our daddy, daddy, Oludot Solamikora. Daddy is a wonder. That is a great wonder. You know, uh, daddy living in Nigeria is like daddy should never leave Nigeria, but daddy has to leave Nigeria. Amen. I've been in the UK. You know, um, I want to say we love you, daddy. We appreciate you. We thank God for what the Lord is doing through you and doing in you. And our dear mom also, mommy Ufoma Lamikora, thank God for you. And I also like to appreciate all um, our elder brothers in UK, our pastors, starting from Pastor Zor and his dearly beloved wife, uh, Pastor Sylvia, and Pastor um, Parks, and our dear sister, Sister Zandi, uh, Pastor Kaya de Afolabi, that um, blessed us so greatly this morning session. You know, uh, like Pastor Thompson said, Pastor K is, is, uh, is the UK Pastor Ken. You know, anyway, Pastor K was just, was just doing as if he was playing, but he was, was tearing things. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor Kaya, we love you so dearly. Thank you so much for where you stand. We love you greatly. And, uh, and your dear wife, Sister Fadekemi, Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Azuka, and our dearly beloved sister, Sister Reina. Thank you so very much for where you stand. We love you. We appreciate you greatly. I uh, would also like to appreciate God for uh, my, my pastor, uh, the one with whom the Lord has been able to um, use to help us to follow Daddy accurately. You know, um, like Pastor TJ would always say, Daddy is a is a kanji down. Pastor maker is a step down. Now, if you don't have a pastor maker in your life, uh, it's very difficult for you to use kanji down. You know, if you enter into your house, everything will blow. <laughs> uh, but if you have a step down transformer, it will step it down and make it useful. So, pastor has made us to be able to follow um, God's servant at Daddy Reverend Kaude okay, very, very well. You know, and I want to appreciate God for my pastor, uh, my own daddy also. Pastor Emeka Eguchuku, who is presently in Poland, and our dearly beloved mom, Mommy Lillian Eguchuku. Thank you for where you stand, Pastor. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for bearing with our infirmities. Even those times when our head was very, very stupid, you were there to watch us to make sure that our head becomes correct. Thank you very much, sir. We love you. We appreciate you. I also want to thank God for uh, my pastors here, also in Lagos, Pastor Thompson Ehima. Uh, and our dearly beloved pastor, also Pastor Mudupeola Ihima. Thank you, Pastor, for where you stand. Thank you for the blessing of today. So much blessing, so much utterance, so much spirit that the Lord um, used Pastor to bring our way this morning session. I also want to thank God for uh, Pastor Tayo Fasson and Pastor Meg Fasson. Thank you for where you stand, Pastor. Pastor Tayo is a beauty to behold anytime. Uh, I think it was it Pastor Thompson that was saying it this morning that uh, if you are a lover of this world, you cannot gel with Pastor Tyre. Pastor Tyre hates this world with a passion. Uh, if Pastor Tyre see a car passing, yeah, the rev you will bring from the car, you wonder, Abba, Pastor, Abba, this small car that just passed now, <laughs> uh, or you see a bed that is just perching on the tree. You know, Sri said, Pastor, had a flight delay in the U.S. coming back, you know, and I just saw my chart. Pastor sent me chart. He saw a picture. He said, Kai. He said, he saw the beauty. He said, Adam didn't know what he lost. Ah, Baba, Baba, Baba. Just stop over. Stop over flights. Baba. Ah, Pastor. Pastor is just too wonderful. Pastor is, Pastor is a beauty. He's a beauty. You know, you, you can never have a dull moment being around pastor, you know, except you don't have a um, quest for being spiritual. If you have a quest for being spiritual, you will love Pastor Ty of Fasson to pieces. He's so loving. He's so loving. Thank you, Pastor, for where you stand. Thank you for that opening. Thank you for how you went against everything 
that um, Satan wants to install in us and knock it all off. We appreciate you so much, Pastor. Thank you very, very much. God bless you, sir. And our dearly beloved Pastor Kenneth Eyano Hore, we thank you. Our Pastor Fumi Eyano Hore, thank you very much for where you stand. Uh, our Pastor also, Pastor Moses Omokafe, and Pastor Biodu Omokafe, thank you very much for where you stand. We love you, Pastor. Thank you for your doggedness, Pastor. Thank you for what you represent in the spirit. Thank you for um, uh, making things work. You know, um, God has really helped us as a company. You know, in some other places, you know, that the Lord has not um, really worked upon people. You see that tussle, that fight for position, for, you know, a whole lot of other things. But thank God for where you stand, Pastor. Thank you for your doggedness, your um, your your consistency in the spirit. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will you in the name of Jesus. I uh, would also want to thank God for all my brothers. Um, my elders in the faith, elders in the spirit, starting from Pastor Falai and uh, Pastor Tunji Adegoke and Pastor Ayo Omosen, the last born of the house. What is the is the mighty one of the house? Uh, you know, thank God, thank God for all of them. Pastor Laide Olaniyo, Pastor Michael Gwoye, Pastor Leke, every one of you. I appreciate you so greatly. I uh, have a limited time, so uh, I'd like to, uh, uh, sir, of course, uh, that one, I can't cut it over. <laughs> thank you, sir. Amen. You know, um, thank you, everyone, for where you stand. Thank you for what you represent in the spirit. You know, uh, I, I wasn't looking forward to this in any way, you know, uh, not in any way. Um, I wasn't looking forward in any way. You know, there are some things that you look for. You know, gone are those days where you look forward to ministering. I, I don't know what's, I don't know what's exciting in ministry. I mean, Pastor Tai will, uh, you know, there will be something, so much excitement. Or someone like Pileke. When Pileke handled my, he would, he would tear pieces of revelation. Yeah, those of us that don't have revelation like this, you don't know. But let's just be hiding our head. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. I also want to thank God for um, our host. Wonderful, wonderful people. You know, beholding you guys from afar off, uh, you are a beauty to behold. Every one of you, a great beauty to behold. A great beauty. You know, Pastor Jeff, to Kura, the way Pastor Jeff is, Pastor Jeff is a very, is a mighty dynamite. You know, even the way he talks, just one by one, but just so that he's, he's firing, not bullets, missiles, bomb. Uh, you know, there's, there's what they call grenade in Yoruba land. They call it a karaoyimbo. <laughs> eh? eh, Pastor, Pastor Jeff throws terrible grenade. You know, boom, anything enter your heart, uh, something would happen. Satan must give way. Hey, Amen. I love you, sir, Pastor. <laughs> Very <laughs> handsome man. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, your dearly beloved wife, Pastor Ace, thank you very much for your stand. Thank you for the beauty that you have brought to the company of God's people. I um, also want to thank God for our dearly beloved pastor, Pastor Femi, and his dear wife, Sister Bimi. Thank you for where you stand. You know, Pastor Femi is a man that, when you see him, that I you shave from my to your lawn. His eyes always red. <laughs> <sighs> I, I watched last, last year, his eyes was red. This year again is red. I said, but back in the day, what, are you fighting somebody? He said, that is in trouble. <laughs> All the spirits in Canada must fall. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Pastor Femi. I love you so, so much. Uh, I love you so much. <laughs> Hallelujah. And Sister Bemi, thank you for where you stand. The Lord bless you. Thank you for you guys' resilience. Thank you for your discipline in following and our dearly beloved pastor also, Pastor Bukumi. Pastor Bukumi, I know he's, he's a bundle of beauty. Uh, he hardly talks, you know. I'm sure he'll be talking around the folks there, but uh, the way you look at him, he looks like a very silent man. But you see those silent men, they are dangerous. Uh, if they handle Satan, Satan will run. The silent but powerful. Amen. I love you, sir. I love you, sir. I love you so much. See, I see the grace growing every day, you know, last year to this year. 
increase. The Lord is just adding to the house greatly. Uh, the Lord will strengthen the hands of every one of you. And your dearly beloved wife, Sister Tovia, thank you for where you stand. Thank you for what you supply. The Lord bless you greatly in the name of Jesus. And our dearly beloved pastor, Pastor Pastor Thompson said, he's not Cessy the Paul again. He's Send the Paul. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's no longer Cessy the Paul. He's Send the Paul. So the Paul has been sent. Amen. We have, we have uh, pushed him away from Nigeria to Canada. He's now a mighty hawk in Canada. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Ceci. We love you. We miss you. At least Pastor has told us that it's good to miss people now. Pastor Ceci, we miss you. We miss you greatly. Amen. It's all those your dancing steps, all those your clothes, clothes combination that has all left you. Uh, Pastor Ceci can wear slippers on anything and it will fit him. Can dress anyhow, it must fit him. Amen. If you try it, you look ugly. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor Ceci, for where you stand, and your dearly beloved wife, our dear sister, Sister Busola. We love you all. We appreciate you. We thank you for where you stand. God bless you greatly. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope I've done well. I hope I've done well. I also want to thank God for our dearly beloved um, pastor. I'm just loving him more and more every day. I don't tell him often, but I'm just loving him. I dearly beloved Pastor Pastor Larry. Thank you so very much, Pastor Larry. I love you, sir. I'm sure you are shocked. You are surprised. I'm as shocked as you too. Your shock is shocking me. Amen. I love you, sir. Ah, ah Pastor Hans. Pastor Hans. How ah, can I miss Pastor Hans? Maybe because the way Pastor Hans moved from he was formerly in UK, he's moved to Scotland, you know, he's become a hawk in Scotland. Uh, probably has a covering that is using to cover people. Amen. You know, Pastor Hans is a very terrible man in the spirit. You know, my few encounter with Pastor Hans was when he came to um, Nigeria then to, to stay. I was thinking Pastor Hans was going to stay for like uh, 10 years. But lo and behold, the time was cut short. <laughs> Stakedian is laughing. <laughs> Amen. Pastor, I love you so much. That our, remember our trip to Ondo? Uh, and uh, to Ondo and back, you know, and we carried the uh, goat inside the car. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor Hans. Thank you for where you stand. Thank you for the beauty that you've added to the company. Uh, thank you also, Sister Kadian. Thank you very much, Ma. Uh, I appreciate you. My wife loves you so much, so much. She just loves the beauty around you, the way you minister. So much blessing. Thank you very much, Ma. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our Father, we give glory to your name this evening over there in Canada and this morning here in Nigeria and also in UK. Father, we appreciate you for your mercy upon us as your people. Thank you for the help that you supply Spirit. Thank you for giving us the Holy Ghost. Thank you for making us have access to things of you through your Spirit. You said, what man knoweth the things of a man say the Spirit of the man, and the things of God knoweth no man, save the Holy Ghost. Thank you for making available to us your spirit, that we might have access even into your things. Father, we ask this morning again, that Lord, you will bring blessing to us from your word, from yourself, in the name of Jesus. Show us great mercy, Jesus. Show me mercy. Show me mercy, O God. The little time I have, to just give a short charge, Lord, I pray. The Lord, you will take absolute control of my mouth in the name of Jesus. You will speak through me and bring blessing the way of your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Forgive me, I'm talking very, very slowly. because I wish I'm Pastor Mike. I'll just carry Pastor Mike with your spirit. It is you. Just carry spirit. And Pastor Mike has a, is a man blessed with so much utterance. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, um, Father, the Father and His Son, so much blessing from the beginning of the meeting. The Lord has been coming, you know, to us. God's servant, um, you know, 
uh, began staying on the scripture, Second John, and there's been so much light coming from there. And he's been um, staying strongly on the issue of the truth and also um, showing the issue of the way. Uh, but uh, just taking a cue from everything that has been said to us, uh, thus far from God servant, our daddy, um, uh, our mommy also being a blessing to us and also um, all the pastors that have ministered. I uh, would like us to probably just consider one of few things um, along that same line, just had a little here and there as we prepare for um, our daddy this morning. Um, trust the Lord that another time of blessing is going to visit us and the Lord would strengthen our bowels to be able to pull from his servant in the name of Jesus. We will receive so much help of the Spirit. Uh, those of us here, the Lord will strengthen our body. I know it's not easy. Uh, it's our sleep time. You know, and um, uh, many a times, uh, by the time it's four, five, head start knocking head, you know. But the Lord will strengthen us. Our head will become strong. Head will not knock head. Head will remain straight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, one thing that is peculiar about the issue of fatherhood and sonship is the issue of inheritance. Now, what you would take as a key take in that relationship of a father to a son is the issue of inheritance. Is inheritance. In Proverbs, give me Proverbs, um, I think, is it Proverbs 13 or so? Is that a good man? Proverbs 13, quickly, let's start from there and trust the Lord to 22. Proverbs 13. Proverbs 13. Is he hanging? Okay. He said, a good man liveth an inheritance to, to his children's children. A good man does what? Liveth inheritance. Now, the, the, the strength of uh, the relationship between a father and a son is hinged on the issue of inheritance. That a father, what, what a father would say that he can leave for his son is inheritance. And many a times the inheritance is not, is not accessed by the son, except the son comes into true sonship. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, it is impossible for uh, uh, a... You know, Gossip and Pastor Baker was saying one time, he met a man, you know, at, um, was it the, uh, was he high neck or something? They were doing a registration, and they told the man to fill the form. And he filled the form, and he said, who is your next of kin? And he put his two-year-old son as the next of kin. And Pastor Dan said, sorry, sir. I'm sure you, maybe you don't understand what they mean by nest of kin. <laughs> that this boy is two-year-old. Put your wife, you say, woman, never do you something. <laughs> you know? So for him, the, the child that is two-year-old, of course, you know that that child with his age, he cannot bear what is called inheritance. He doesn't even have an idea of what an inheritance is. He has no, uh, 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 no path, so and so quote-unquote, in the inheritance. Galatians chapter 4, give us a bit of a light into the issue of inheritance. Galatians chapter 4. Pastor Gabriel, sorry that I forgot you, sir. And every team from U.S., thank you so much, Pastor Gabriel. I love you so very much. Thank you, camera people, for helping me, you know, <laughs> jolting back my memory. Uh, you know, if you are here, you can forget many things. Uh, amen. I love you, sir, and I've missed you. Pastor Gabriel is my good friend. Thank you very much, sir. I love you, sir. Is that now I say, Galatians chapter 4 from verse 1, is that now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant. Though he be what? Though he be Lord of all. So we would call him Lord of all, but he cannot come into his lordship. Why? Because he is a child. 
He is a child. So, but he is under tutors and governors on time appointed of the father. So there is a time that the father awaited for the son to come into inheritance. And now when the son is able to come into inheritance, the son can also now stand instead of the father. Now the son cannot in any way stand in the stead of the father. For example, I can't tell my two-year-old to sign a check. I can't tell my two-year-old to go and oversee the company and affair. I can't tell my two-year-old to, no matter how brilliant he is, maybe they call him a child genius. You understand? I can't, there are some things I can't put as a responsibility on him. So I can't, in a sense, call him a son. He's still a child. I get back to him, but I've not given him returns. He can handle the inheritance. In fact, if I give him the inheritance at a particular age, at a particular stage, I would unduly expose him. Because he can't handle it. So one of the things that tie the father to the son very strongly is the issue of inheritance. And what is the inheritance in, in uh, 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 when it comes to us as God's people? The inheritance is life. The inheritance between us that we share with God. Hebrews chapter 1. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 1. Just, just look at some scriptures here and there. Please just let me know when I'm supposed to stop. Please. Because uh, like my dearly beloved pastor yesterday, I, didn't, I don't think I looked at the time I started. Forgive me. Hebrews chapter 1. Let's go down. Verse 2. Go down. Verse 3. He said, who being the brightness of the sun, express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the mighty being made so much better than the angels, as he hath inheritance, what obtain more excellence. So meaning the angels don't have access to this inheritance. Let's go down. He said, for unto which of the angels said he at any time, thou art my son. So meaning they come into this level of sonship. They don't have that inheritance that he obtained. It was the inheritance that made Jesus our Lord come into a sonship that the angel not partake of. In Peter, he called it to an inheritance, incorruptible, undefiled, that faded not away, that is reserved in heaven. So this inheritance that is incorruptible is a life. So what the father shares with the son is a life. God is not sharing that life with angels. So you can't call them son in that regard. You know, in the beginning, in Genesis, which was also chronological, chronology in, I think, is it Matthew or, is it Matthew or Luke? When he, the hand, he said, and Adam, the son of God. Now, you see, that sonship of Adam is not this sonship that we are talking about that the father shares with the son. Because what's, what joins the father and the son together? He said the father and his son joins them together. What they share is the same. It's called inheritance. It's a life. And as long as that life is there, the son has what the father has. You know, was it, was it Pastor T.J. who was saying it yesterday? That one of the anger of the Jew is that Jesus called himself a son. Now, because they have an idea of what sonship is. When you are a son, meaning you were begot. If you were begotten something, a seed begot you. So if a seed begat you, that means you are saying, God, what, what is in God is what is in you. 
So they would fight you to the nail and call it blasphemy that you are making yourself equal with God. But of course we see here that Jesus, our Lord, was made so much better. How? By inheritance. So God is the good man that does what? That lives inheritance. You know, they came to Jesus. He said, good master, good master. He said, there's none good but God. There's none is good but God. Now, God is that good man. And the good man also with him are good gifts and perfect gifts. And when he gives you that gift, he's giving you what he has. If you hold that gift, you've come into inheritance. So Jesus, being raised a son, also wants to do what? Bring many sons. So he wants to share his inheritance with us. But you see, where we are now, it's difficult for us to partake of that inheritance. Because man went below where he could assess that inheritance. So man was what Paul began to define first in Galatians chapter 4. That though he's an heir, though he's lord of all. Of course, you got born again. The day you got born again, you know, every one of us, our spirit is Christ. You know, we, we, we are regenerated in our human spirit. You know, you, have, you share him gene to a degree but you cannot exercise your authority i cannot say that i am a fool just because i gave my life to christ i have to be under what is called tutors and governors until it's called an appointed time the father is the one that appoints the time the father is the one that knows when our training is complete. Eh? He's the one that knows when our training is complete. Look at Jesus, for example. The father knew that 30 years, this man is ready. Why did he declare at 12, thou art my son? Today have I begotten thee. No. It's, an it's a time that the father appointed. So the father knows the time. The father is aware of the time. Because what the father and the son share, it's, you know, before the father, you know, those days when we were, we were serving, I served in a state where the governor, I don't know, we just want to be governor. I don't know. The governor never attended any social function. He's always ably represented by. <laughs> I never knew the English until I went for service. Because suddenly you just see somebody stand. Uh, let's celebrate so so and so governor ably represented by. I said, who is this man that is always ably represented? He never comes for once. Now, there is something in the father that when the son is representing the father, he's representing the father as it were he is the father. Because the father bestowed all into him. He said the father loved the son. What did he do? He gave him all judgment. Not some judgment. Now, all judgment, you know, thank, thank God for Reverend Kayo Deo Yeguke. Thank God for that day. You know, that's when you say judgment, judgment. We, we think, you know, is it judgment that I'm saying, Pastor Mike, why did you do carry it? I put it there. No, I've judged him. I've finished the judgment. <laughs> eh? Or you bring the law judgment. One balance here, one balance here. Okay, I put it. Or you look at the judgment of uh, Solomon. You know that Solomonic judgment? Ah, uh, okay, let's cut the baby into two. Okay, don't cut it, don't cut it, don't cut it. Okay, what I say, don't cut it. It's the owner of the child. I give it to you. Oh. <laughs> judgment is resolving eternal wisdom. <laughs> eh? 
ability to have a wisdom that spirit will look at you and say, How did he come to that conclusion? No, imagine you, Pastor Lema, you resolved a matter. And Michael is like this. Ah, human being. Ah, I, it never crossed my mind. Wow. A, li a little of it is, you know, at times when some things happen, and Pastor Mike now would have concluded on the matter. And Daddy Egoke would just come. Daddy would just come from one hand, and you wonder. Ah, we never thought of it. Let's, see, look, let's be sincere. We never thought of it. We are wrong. Eh? Now that's judgment. Now for the father to be able to commit judgment to the son, meaning he has raised the son with his own spermatozoa, the father has emptied himself into the son. And as I was saying, Jesus was talking to Philip and the rest of them. He said, have you been so long with me? And you say you still don't know the father? He that has seen me, as a what? Has seen the father. Because the work I'm doing is not me. It is the father that is in me. That in the work. So meaning, the father. Father has raised a son that he is sure he knew exactly what I would do. You know, Paul looked at Timothy. He said, I have nobody that will do what? Naturally. Do what? Care for your states. Now that's a son who is also a father. So to raise us to become Sons of God or sons of the Father is that God is those in fathers. But you see, there are limitations that will limit us from being raised to come to this degree of being a father. Because every one of us, every one of us, Pastor Tosin, every one of us are, we are Galatians 4. We are here. Lord of all. But we're a child. And it shows what we do. It shows. You know, like Pastor was saying yesterday. It shows we want to share rev, we want to tear pieces, help, take revelation, tear, 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 and say, yeah, Babao, rev master. And after sharing the rev, the guy cannot show forth a simple ounce of life. Because it's not in the rev, it's in the inheritance. What is the inheritance? Life. It's to an inheritance incorruptible. Something you can't corrupt. It's to an inheritance undefiled. That does not fade. And that's actually life. So what the father shares with the son, Pastor Dike, is eternal life. So what is flowing in the father as a stream that is also flowing in the son is eternal life. So why the son can say he is a father is because he is carrying the same gene, not, not any other gene, the same gene. And that's why God looked in Hebrews. He said, to which of the angels? Why would he not call the angels his son? It will be an aberration for God to call them his son. Why? They don't have it. They don't have what is flowing in the Father. They don't have what the Father carries that makes him the Father of lights, in whom there is no variableness, neither the shadow of turning. Because, sir, if what was in the Father is what is in them, Satan can't. If what the father carries in whom there is no darkness at all. He said, God is light. In him is no darkness at all. In that being, there is no, God does not vary. He doesn't vary. He's constant. If that was what was in Lucifer, he can fall. Michael and Gabriel, all of them, they are, they are, they are being kept by God. Eh? 
But you see, when you see this being that God wants to raise, <laughs> he can keep himself. <laughs> huh? wow. The son can keep himself. Wow. The son, he can keep himself. So you know that we are not there yet. We are not. So you see what Christ has to first do in us. Like mommy thought, there is a road to this place. Yeah. There is there's what Christ has to do. They have to, they have to bring the curriculum of Christ to deal with many things. Mm. Pastor Lekker was in the prayer today. He said, you see, Christ as against the world, as against this, as against this. They need to use Christ to knock off a lot of things. Mm. Now when Christ has done his work, then the Father can show up. Say, mm. Christ, Parishalare. Okay. This guy is a charity. He's now a perfect man. He's a godly man. He's righteous. Okay? So I, the father can now, you can now begin to see the oppression of the father. The father can now begin to pour himself. He begins to pour forth his everlastingness into a perfect man. So I, I, can't, I can't come and just claim that you know, thank God for that lovely song. Pastor TJ loved that song so much. And he has made me love the song. Oh, my Baba. <laughs> as long as I can, is a claim for me. I am not there yet. Because there is a way oh, my Baba behaves. Oh, my Baba is son of the father. There is a way sons behave. You know, one that Pastor TJ like quoting very much. The, the, the... Uh, 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 the 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 all mark of what you call a is that he can't do anything of himself. Eh? He can if a son can of himself do nothing, no matter how much he tries. No matter how much he tries. But when you are not yet a son, you can do many things. Eh? And that's why for me, somebody was saying, uh, was it yesterday or so? Somebody said, you know this, this prayer that flies up and down? What God cannot do as well as I said, I said, I don't know that one. You're on your own. No? <laughs> You're on your own. Because you, if, if you are in that zone where you are not yet a son, yeah, there could be some permission for a child. That doesn't mean you are doing what is right. If my baby poops on the body now, does it mean he has done what is right? He is just permitted because of where he is. Eh? He will just grow a little more further. And he will say, poo, and he poop on the body. What will you do? Frog. So Christ will first train us, raise us, raise us to the point where we cannot be useful for the Father. Because if they give us the Father now to raise us, Sir, sir, we can't take it. So they have to first introduce the gospel of Christ. So let's see some things in John chapter 5. John chapter 5, popular scripture from verse. Let's just read it through. Amen. I will be blessed. I hope I'm doing small, small work. Give me from verse 20. From verse 20, John chapter 5. He said, For the Father loveth the Son, and, and does what? Let him all things that himself doeth. The Father does what? Loveth the Son. Now, if the Father is showing the Son what he's doing, Pastor Mike, meaning the Son can replicate what the Father is doing. But it's not everybody that knows what the Father is doing. It's not everybody that can see what the Father is doing. The Father can't show everybody what he's doing. He said, and he will show him greater work than this that you may have a verse. For as the Father does what? Raise it the dead. Or raise it up the dead. And does what again? And quicken them. Even so, the Son 
quickened womb he will. Now, why would the father permit the son to quicken womb he will? Because that's what the father would do. I used to say this a lot. If I am Jesus, that I was caught unawares on the road by custom, and they say, pay tax. Eh? And I could send one of my disciples, Peter, go to the river, catch first fish, bring gold coin, pay it, pay for yourself, pay for me, and let's go. I will replicate it. Because there will be need. Oh, you don't get it. Now, did you see that Jesus replicated that miracle again? Did it? No, because that is a son. The father can trust son with judgment. He can trust son with power. You know, there is a manifestation of the son's manifestation. No, it's not power first, it's life. Manifestation of the sons is not that when they come, when they enter, we are now in Nigeria. President, die. You will cause trouble. You will cause trouble. There will be chaos in the land. You know, at times when God will keep some people, you don't know what God is keeping. Why he will allow... The, the guy is just not... You are praying, pray. The guy is just not dying. And he's remaining there. It takes a son to understand that the father's judgment is right. Children will argue, will mama will shout, hey, hey, this thing this, this is too much, let him go. Mm. He said, no, it's not time. Maybe it's time to go, it's 10 years now from now. Hey, they have killed us. Mm. But a son will see what the father is doing. A son will not scatter what the father is doing. So at times when you see, you know, some people say, they are sons, they are sons, they are sons. You are sowing discord amidst brethren. You are not a son. You are not. You are still far, you are a child. Praise the Lord. Eh? A son, a son, you are envying. You are not a son. Christ has to first walk on you very well. When Christ has finished his work, eh, eh, they cannot bring you before the Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's read further. Pastor Kule. Okay. He said, For the Father judgeth no man. But what did he do? He committed all judgment to the son. All judgment. So the father was confident enough to do what? To give all judgment to the son. Why? Because he knows what is in him is what is in the son. So the life force that is flowing in the father is exactly what is flowing in the son. So if the father refuses to judge, or decides not to judge. He knows the son will judge exactly the same way that the father would do. Verse 23, let me just read it, rounding up. He said that all men should honor the son even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father which has sent him. Next verse. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that ye read my word and believed on him that sent me, at everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Next verse. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall do what? Shall live. For as the Father at what? So, what does the Father have? What is that?
of the unseen fullness, fullness from the realm to the realm of the unseen fullness of grace and truth you are oh, oh, fullness of grace Fullness of grace and truth you are Fullness of grace and truth Fullness of grace and truth you are Jesus Then he said, my father, glorify thou me with thy own self with the glory that I had with you from the beginning He said My Father Glorify thou me With thy own self With the glory that I had with you from the beginning From the beginning with the glory that I had with you from the beginning He said My Father glorify thou me With thy own self With the glory that I had with you from the beginning Oh from the beginning from the beginning with the glory that I had with you from the beginning from the realm of the unknown oh to the realm of the unseen Jesus you are the fullness of grace of grace and truth from the realm of the unknown to the realm of the unseen Fullness of grace and truth you are And abide it forever by the word of God. Now leave it and abide it forever by the word of God. Now leave it and abide it forever by the word. Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart, fervently. Being born again, not of the corruptible, but of the incorruptible seed. See you purify your souls in obeying the truth to the Spirit unto. Unfeigned love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart, fervently. Being born again, not of the corruptible, but of the incorruptible seed. By the word of God, that leave it and abide it forever. By the word of God, that leave it and abide it forever. Leave it 
shall abide forever by the word of God. Tell 
and I get a Sudama. Only why? Come, come to give us an understanding that we may know him that is true, that is true. We are in need that is true, even in his son Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life, eternal life, eternal life, eternal life, eternal life, eternal life, eternal life. Eternal life, eternal life, eternal. This is the true God and eternal life. God has Belena Taranapa, eternal power. Yeah, and the God has eternal life, eternal power, eternal power. And the God has Aliya Tamana, fullness of the God has body me. Eternal God, eternal life, eternal life, eternal life. Lord, I know that I never got to pass it. Oh, the only wise God, Jesus, you are, you are the only true God, Jesus, you are, you are the only wise God. Jesus, you are, you are the only true God. Jesus, you are, you are only wise. Jesus, Jesus, you are, Jesus, you are, Jesus, the only wise. You are. The love of God through the love of the Father, Father and Son, through the love of the Father, you judge among gods. Come and show us the judgment of God, the Godhead, the Godhead, eternal power and Godhead. Fullness of the Father, fullness of God, Jesus the Son, fullness of God, come and divide the God, the Godhead is of God, you who, you who judge among gods, the voice of God upon many waters, the God of glory he thunders. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters, upon the waters, fullness of the Godhead, fullness of the Father, hey. fullness of the Godhead, eternal life, you are the fullness of the Godhead, eternal life. Jesus the Son, crown with glory and honor, with honor and majesty, heaven is in the Holy Ghost, heaven is in the Holy Ghost, heaven is in the Holy Ghost. Heaven is in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, joy. Justness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, joy. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, joy. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. 
Righteousness, peace, and joy. Righteousness, peace, joy, and love. The everlasting kingdom in the spirit of truth. Peace, joy. Righteousness, peace, joy. Peace, joy. Peace, joy. Joy, 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 joy. All of the heavens and couched in the Holy Ghost. You are the spirit of glory. Oh, 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 oh. you are the Holy Ghost. Sing, sing, sing. You are the glory ghost. Sing, sing us into glory. You are the Holy Ghost. Sing. Sing to rocks, sing, you are the glory ghost. Sing, sing us into glory, you are the Holy Ghost. Sing, sing to me, oh, oh, sing, you are the glory ghost. Sing, sing me into glory, you are the Holy Ghost. Sing, 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 glory ghost. Sing, sing me into glory. Father and Son is in the Holy Ghost. Father and Son in the Holy of Farana Palanagani Bolenegestava. Make and lowly is in the Holy Ghost. Oh, oh. make and lowly is in the Holy Ghost. Make a lowly ease in the Holy Ghost. Make a lowly ease in the Holy Ghost. Easy yoke burning light in the Ghost. Easy yoke burning light. Easy yoke burning light in the Holy Ghost. Easy yoke burning light. Burning light in the Holy Ghost. Easy up, burning light. Easy up, burning light in Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Sing, sing to us. Sing, our ghost. Sing, would you sing us into glory? You are the Holy Ghost. Sing, sing for us, so oh. sing. You are the glory ghost. Sing. Sing us into glory, you are the Holy Ghost. Sing, sing for us, so oh. sing, you are the glory ghost. Sing, sing us into glory, you are the Holy Ghost. Sing, sing for us, sing, oh, you are the glory ghost. Sing us into glory.
Your yoke is easy, your burning light. Yalavanin ran to Ghana, her of the letters of Bagadaya. Oh, you carry your burden. You're burning your father. You carry your burden, yeah. You say, Come unto me, all ye that labor, and I will give you rest. I want your rest. I want your rest. I want your rest. I want to rest. To enter your rest. Oh, your word will be mixed with faith in my heart. Elelion, I want to learn your way. I want to learn your meekness. Want to learn your loneliness. Make a lonely in hearts. You who are meek and lonely in heart. I want to learn your meekness. I want to learn your loneliness. You who are meek and lonely in hearts. Make a lonely in I want to know your meekness want to learn your loneliness You who I make a lowly in heart Make me low like you are Hey Adonai, Adonai Hail, hail Adonai, Adonai, Adonai Hail, hail Adonai, Adonai, Adonai Hail Adonai, 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 love El Adonai, 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 love El Adonai, love El Adonai. Somebody love you more. I don't know. I don't know. Love L. Love L. Love L. I don't know. I don't know. Love L. I don't know. Love L. I don't know. Love L. I don't know. Oh, worship I don't know. Worship El Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Worship El Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Worship El Adonai, Worship El Adonai, Adonai. Oh, Adonai. Worship El Adonai. We worship you. We worship. Oh, 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 oh. Worship El Adonai. We worship Adonai. Oh, 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 oh. Worship Adonai. Worship Adonai. Worship Adonai. Worship El Adonai oh, Because he's holy, lowly, holy, lowly Holy, lowly Jesus, you are holy Oh, so lowly High and lofty Strong and mighty Yet, you are holy You are holy, oh so lowly, high and lofty. You are strong and mighty, yet you are lowly. Hell, I don't, I 
deny, I deny, hell, hell, I deny, I deny, I deny, hell, hell, I deny, I deny, I deny, Somebody help, help the high priest, help the son of God, the only begotten God. Help, I deny, I deny, help, I deny, help is the only true God, first begotten from man, the first begotten of the dead. The begotten of God is the Son and is still the Father. I don't know. I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The Son of the Son of God is God. We sing the song of the Son of God. We sing the song of the son of god is god now we sing the song of the son of god who is teaching us is god the song of the son of god is we will sing the song of the son of god who is teaching us is god the song of the son of god The Son of God, the light of the lamp, the light of the lamp of God is God. Now we see the light of the lamp of God, who is shining on us. The light of the lamp, the light of the lamp of God is God. Now we see the light of the lamp of God, who is shining over us, shine everywhere. The light of the lamp of God is God. Now we see the light of the Son and the Father. Yeah, God is light. God is coming, shades and shadows keep on turning. You will be swallowed up in light. Light is God, and God is light. God is light, God is coming. Darkness go grossing. You will be swallowed up in light. For light is God, and God is light. God is light, see, God is coming. Shades and shadows keep on turning, for you will be swallowed up in light. Oh, light is God. You cannot escape. You cannot escape the light of God that is coming. You will be swallowed up in light. There's an avalanche of light. There's a flood of light coming. Great and mighty. A mighty, mighty, mighty torrent, mighty current. There's a mighty tide of the gospel. God is light. God is coming like a lion, like a lion of the tribe of Judah. You will be swallowed up in light, for light is God. God is light. God is light. God is coming. Shades and shadows keep on turning, for you will be, you, you will be, you, you will be. Darkness go on, keep on grossing. You will be swallowed up in light. God is light. It's coming like a mighty warrior. God is light. God is coming. He who is coming again is coming as a king, is coming as a warrior, is coming judge. God is light, is coming. Shades and shadows, cross, turning. You will still be swallowed, you will still lose. You cannot win. God is light, 
God is gone. Oh, darkness, go on, keep on grossing. You will be, you will be, you will be. God is shining, shining, is shining. Hello, him is shining. Oh, heaven no rain over us. 
Y hablo no me lo Shine on me, shine on me, God on Zion, shine on me, shine your light as the day dawns. May the day star rise in me. Shine on me, shine on me. God on Zion, shine on me. Shine your light as the day dawns. May the day star rise in me. Shine on me, shine on me. God on Zion, shine on us. Shine your light as the day dawns. May the day star rise. Shine on me, shine on me. God on Zion, shine on me, shine your light as the day dawns, may the day start. God most high, God most high, the high life is your life. Shine on me, shine on me, God on Zion, shine again. Shine your light as the day dawns, may the day star rise in me. Shine on me, shine on me, yeah. God on Zion, shine. A fellowship with your father, with your father and son. Shine your light as the day dawns, may the day rise in me. Shine your light as the day does. May the day star rise. Shine on me. Shine on me, God of Zion. Shine on me. Shine your light as the day does. May the star rise. Shine on me. Shine your light as the day dawns. May the day star. Oh, may the day star rise in me. May the rise in me. Shine your light as the day dawns. May the day star. May the day star. Shine your light as the day. Shine your light as the day May the day star No sheep with the Father and the Son We are and the Son Bring us to your fellowship With the Father and the Son With the Father and the Son Bring us, bring us to this fellowship Fellowship Oh, with Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, bring us to your sheep. Oh, Us. Oh, bless us, immortality, light, light, light up the shadows within us, variation about us, would you bring us to this fellowship, expire, darkness around me, darkness, 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 darkness. 
bless us. Take us immortality in life. Light up the shadows. The rations about me. Oh, bring us. Yeah. We come with strong crying and tears to him who is able to save us from death. We fear out God, we come out crying, strong crying and tears to Him who oh, is able to save us from death. We know You will hear us, You will hear us. Ah, ah, but we heard Him that we fear You, our God. The fellowship of light, Father and the Son. God, we the only true God. 
We're the only true God. Son is life eternal, the gift of God to 
Amen. Elohim light is eternal light, the gift of God to man. Elohim light is eternal life, it's the gift of God to man. Elohim, Elohim light is eternal life, it's the gift of God to man. Elohim is eternal life, it's the gift of God to man. You give a gift, you give a gift, you give eternal life to man. Elohim light. Is eternal life the gift of God to man? This is the promise that you have promised, even eternal life. Elohim light is eternal life the gift of God to man. Elohim light is eternal life the gift of man. Elohim light is eternal life the gift of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bless God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, glorious King, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Merciful One, Magnificent who is clothed in honor and majesty. Thank you. The shepherd, who is the father of the great shepherd of the sheep. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. This early morning, thank you for this final hour, final section. I'm asking for mercy that the shepherd above will grant us pasture and through the blood of his everlasting covenant we shed on us the mystery of good things for good deeds help us today Father, the quickener himself, the raiser, the father of sons, the father of spirits, we thank you. Help us today. Help me today. Help me. Quicken me. Grant me mercy. Raise me. Help me. Father, help me. Jesus, who has passed into the heavens, the Son of God, our High Priest, who is great, who is at the right hand of the majesty on the high, your intercession, which has prevailed even before the Father, for us against all the things the enemy of our Father has designed. That Lord, that your ministry indeed will be seen today. That Lord mercy will bring forth the function of your life. Help me today. Manifest your soul. Manifest your, your love. Manifest your help. Help me. Help us today. Oh, that's why we are coming boldly to the throne of great. Grace that we may obtain mercy. Find grace to help. 
Thank you. Help me. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help. 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 In Jesus' name. Grant help, Lord. Father, and does help. Oh, let the throne of God and on of the Lamb grant help. Merciful place. Merciful realm. Grant help. Help me. Help me. Hallelujah. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Uh, I said good, good, good morning, everyone. And I think good evening over there in Canada. Hallelujah. And I send my greetings throughout the times of the world. Amen. Shout hallelujah. I, I hope I'm communicating to all of us. I just pray that my, my greetings will go clockwise. Amen. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> I'm so happy, Pastor Hans. Thank you for representing us, representing Jesus. And uh, Pastor Kadian, thank you so well. Thank you so much. They, I believe the children are encouraged seeing you there. Hallelujah. Amen. We get, give praise to God. Hallelujah. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Um, I perceive, I think Canada to Pastor Hans is another second home. <laughs> I believe... Um, and I can tell you the first place uh, K, uh, Jeff landed uh, when he came to UK. It was Scotland. So there is something. <laughs> that was the place I first met Jeff after a long time. <laughs> so um, I don't know. Praise God. Can we shout hallelujah? And, um, and I just, that. Uh, that bonding, I pray that God will bind both of you well. Praise God. Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are we here together? Are we all happy? Shout hallelujah. Can you please, all over the world, just greet someone next to you. Call them blessing. Bless. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are we here today? Um, I want to greet all our pastors all over the world. I don't have time. If at all I will be greeting, I will not be able to go into the teaching. So... I'm taking time to just greet uh, en masse, not retail kinds of greeting. No, so. <laughs> we won't retail it. It's a massive. So it's an wholesale. I won't retail it, I will wholesale it. <laughs> so I, I greet everyone. Hallelujah, praise God. And I believe the distribution of greeting as a good has gotten to everyone. Amen. Shout hallelujah from every Keda to every person seated down. Hallelujah. Praise God. And uh, I want to thank you all. I appreciate you all, all the elders in Canada. Pastor Femi, Pastor, uh, Pastor Bukumi, Pastor Sesi. Praise God. And I want to thank all my children in uh, was it, where, where, all of, in America that has decided to cross-pollinate with the Canadian brethren. Just want to say thank you, praise God, uh, Gabriel and those who are teaming up with you. Hallelujah, who are also uh, elders and senior brothers to the work among you. God will bless you. Those who are under the surveillance of Pastor Tayo, with the assistance of Pastor Thompson Ahima. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will strengthen you. Thank you for showing that love. Thank you for crossing over to that other side to be with them. Hallelujah. Some of you have left the comfort of some kind of climate which is not as extreme as 
as that which happens in Canada, you're in snow this time around. Um, I can understand. It's good to test what your tower brethren are going through. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm admitting will be terrible this time around. So <laughs> shout hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Are we here today? Yes, um, I want to appreciate mommy. I want to appreciate. Uh, can you help me appreciate mommy all over the world? Let me help me appreciate mommy. And uh, I want to appreciate my daddy here, Pastor Lami Kora. We call him doctor. Pastor Lami Kora. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he is a shepherd. He's not just a preacher. I'm talking about he also is a bishop. He's a, he's a father. He, it's, he cares for the sheep. He has laid down his life for the sheep, for the brethren. Amen. And uh, I'm appreciating Pastor Mika. Pastor Mika will be, the meeting will be starting a bit um, sometime today in, U in uh, Poland. I, I perceive there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of move of God there today. Praise God. I appreciate him, Pastor Lillian at home. All the pastors in Nigeria, praise God. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. And amen. I appreciate you all. And then our pastors here who have helped me. I need to greet them, Pastor K. I need to thank them. Pastor Kunle, who has been assisting me in the night, in the midnight. They are our midnight crew. I want to say thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pastor Parks, on, on relentlessly, he's been walking. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Amen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise him forevermore. Hallelujah, praise Jesus, Sanoma, Efrem Fossa, Anea, Temia, Provenance. Hello, amen, amen. This, hear this word of the Lord right now. Hear the word of the Lord. Amen. I want everybody to just be calm. Hear my no. Hear the man. Hear the man. On the meaning. Over name. So see name. Avarobado. Efeto siha. Prefato nihi. Dalu hasega. Mary. Vata. Isesihalu. Pafalo keha. Nini fesiha. Venonia. Mehenia. Alania. Asania. Iri venoye. Every Vanaha, every Naova, every Vanohe, Hello Zanihe, Hello Mihen, Asa Naova, Eta Laina, Even the Osa, Eliza Naola, Edevanite, Heaven, 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 Hail Heaven, Hail Heaven, Hail Heaven, O Yil Heaven. O ye heaven, e ye heaven, so ye heaven, e ye heaven, more ye heaven, may ye heaven, say ye heaven, O ye heaven, hey ye heaven, see ye heaven, more ye heaven, make ye heaven, say ye heaven, more ha heaven, a might. Allah have no say height, a might, a height, who heart, he heat. Hallelujah. Pastor Jeff, can you help me? Hallelujah. Heaven, 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 
above, above. For ye that which is above, that which is kept above, that which resides above, that which is high above, up above, 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 that which is high, 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 high up in the height, in the height, in the height, even the waters, even the rivers, even the waters, I, 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 I above shall descend. It will descend. It will descend. It will come down. It will flow. For the waters above can flow. It can flow. It can flow even up and down. And up again and down. Even the waters above can become streams. It can become streams that flow. Heavens can become streams. Streams that flow. Even from the eternal into the everlasting. Even down here and up again. Even flowing, flowing waters to cause many, many to come. To come into the tide, into the flow, into the waters. Even into the waters of this life. Yeah, come in for yeah, heavens and heights above. Descending, descending, descending. That many men, those who are appointed for this time, can enter and enter and flow. With a stream, stream up even into everlasting and up into the heights of eternal life. Say the Lord. Rivers. Rivers. High. Rivers. Rivers of God. Flow. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Open Amen. Your Open your Bible quickly. I want us to, see to see Second John. Second John. Uh, when you see someone who has transgressed, we is a transgressor. Verse 9 of Second John, whosoever transgresseth and abided not in the doctrine of Christ, hath not God. It's because of So anyone who hath God transgresseth not. If you have God, you can't transgress. You have not God. He that abided in the doctrine of Christ had, he had both God and the Father. He had both the Father and the Son, meaning he had God. Now, verse 21 says, 1 John chapter 2, I have not written unto you because you know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie 
is of the truth. Who is a liar? <laughs> Who is a liar? He that denied that Jesus is who is a liar, but he that denied that Jesus is the Christ. He is an antichrist that denied the Father and the Son. So you can see this is, is a, this is explaining Second John. So it can only take an antichrist to deny the Father and the Son. Whosoever denied the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledged the Son as the Father also. So it's clear. The word also simply states that there are two to be acquired. He that acknowledgeth the Son at the Father also. Now, I love the word acknowledgeth the Son. When you see Son 1, he is agreeing with the Son, acknowledging. It means he's got the Father. Let that therefore abide in you, which you have had from the beginning. If that which you have had from the beginning shall remain in you, you shall also continue in the Son and in the Father. Now you have to have this because of the promise. Not so. If this is not in place, and you're not um, settled in this, you not be counted worthy of the promise. And this is the promise that he had promised us, even eternal life. That tells us you cannot say, I have eternal life, when you don't have the Father and the Son. Or when you don't have the Son and the Father. So, of course, having the Father and the Son leads to what? Eternal life. So, the promise of eternal life. So, of course, uh, from Pastor your last message today, it was talking about inheritance. Not so? I love that word. What's that? inheritance that Jesus was called the son of God through by by inheritance or through an inheritance and that inheritance is an inheritance incorruptible on the fire which fades not away now angels don't have this inheritance I love the word on the fire, which fades not away. We can see an angel fading before our eyes. A high one for the matter. He is passing away. And we can see some angel keeping their estate. They, on, they have not lost lustre. They've not come down into being broken down. Their elements are still remaining in themselves. You agree with me? But that doesn't mean they cannot fade. So what was the mentioning of the inheritance 
the quality of the inheritance, the three states of the inheritance has been has been incorruptible on the file that faith did not away reserved for you in heaven. Much more. Uh, I thank God for the incorruption the angelic possess. You hear me? <laughs> but that which we have is superior. So the actual incorruption is the one that is found in the Son. So of course, what God, what the Father gave the Son are these things themselves. Incorruptible, on the fire, that faded not away, reserved for you in heaven, in inheritance. So um, when you talk about the gains of inheriting here, you talk about this is the time you you mention these as a kingdom. So scripture says in Ephesians five that anyone who perpetuates in the works of the flesh, he mentioned them. Not so. Ephesians five. But fornication and all uncleanness. Uh, or covetousness, let it once be named among you, because as become saints, not so. Verse 4, neither fieldiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know that no fornicator, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater at in any inheritance. So in the kingdom of Christ, there is an inheritance there. There are things to inherit. I love the word any inheritance because so that is the inheritance is all some. There's something you walk, you've got to inherit. So you can see the issue of inheritance is commendable by God. God you can't come to the promise without inheritance. Now, the incorruptible inheritance, of course, is in the domain of the garrison of the kingdom. So the king, all these kingdoms are, guide, are guarded by evil forces. You can't break through into them. Not so. You can't break through into this kingdom. That tells you what those kingdoms are keeping. These kingdoms are keeping things. What are they keeping? Inheritance. That's why none of these persons can gain entrance because when you enter and one thing is for you to enter another thing is for you to inherit and one for me to enter I can enter and I have not inherited so the purpose of enter so uh, it takes purging to enter. And it takes cleansing to inherit. When I have entered, then I have the opportunity. I have the privilege of losing things. When you enter kingdom, your a purpose of entering kingdom is for to count things lost. If they are not finding you losing things, that's a kingdom near must be one. Who knows how to let go? Or things are leaving him. Are you listening to me? And he also, what is he doing? He is also gaining things. That's what is called inheritance. That's why we are, now the kingdom is actually a reserve. You know, it's a reserve for the purpose of inheriting. 
Not that they keep you in the kingdom. Until things that you don't have becomes yours. Mm. The kingdom of God is righteousness. That's an inheritance. You have to be in that kingdom until all righteousness that is there in that kingdom becomes yours. Peace until you inherit peace. Then you move to joy until you inherit joy. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. I, I don't know why I'm making some speech. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. So you can see all the kingdom. Shout hallelujah. All the kingdom is divided into two things. Christ and God. Christ and God. Christ and God. So Christians should be getting born again and not wasting time. Move them into what, sir? Into where they will enter into inheriting. Of course, I agree with our pastor today who said, you can't commit inheritance to a child. So it means outside the kingdom is also a world of some kind of inheritance. So a child must have done well with the allocation uh, well, given to a child. And if you, you are able to take that which was given, then you'll be qualified for to come into the kingdom. So coming into the kingdom, because all, all our people has elevated heaven more than the kingdom. It's okay, I understand. But the kingdom of God is stronger than heaven by far. Can we shout hallelujah? Can we say amen? amen? Now, going to this heaven, are you listening to me? When you say I'm going to heaven, I'm going to other people's kingdom, which is not our own. It's the truth. I'm simply going into a world that is not yours. Oh, glory to God. Hmm? So this present heaven is not the home of Christians. It's the truth, sir. But rather, it's where? It's uh, the present heaven. It's, um, I don't know how to say it. There's this English I'm looking for you. A place you borrow for to use for a while. This present heaven is designed as a dominion for some beings, some species. Hallelujah. Now, heaven is in a, a B and B. Uh, they, right now, there are a whole lot of A, B, and B in the heavens. There are a lot of Christians are, uh, what's that? Uh, renting. Temporarily. But you know, we have our own home. I'm talking about the physical home. Our physical home is another kind of heaven, which is to come. Our home is both an heaven and an earth. Amen. We give praise to God. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. In this present heaven, God does not permit people to change state. If you're a cherubim, you'll be a cherubim forever. If you're a dominion, you're going to be a dominion. They don't migrate. But in the present nest to come, they allow movement. Even from the earth into heaven. So what manages that is the infrastructure of the new kingdom. That is overseeing this nest habitat. So the law that governs this nest habitat, are you getting me? For citizenship, praise the Lord, 
is the manifesto in the new dominion. God's kind of kingdom. That's why you see, angels aren't in the kingdom of God. They are not in the kingdom of God. They are in heaven. So you can see, whom God is taking to new heaven, those who God would take to the new heaven and new earth are men in the kingdom of Christ and in the kingdom of God. I think it's clear. The kingdom of God and what, sir? I don't know, maybe I'm, am I making spiritual sense? So it's clear the least, a time is coming. I don't have the calibration yet. If Jesus said, I have spoken to you, Nicodemus, earthly things, and he, he ended with earthly things, with entering into the kingdom. A certain man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now, that is the first entrance into that's the entrance into the new head. Yes. Jesus was teaching entrance into where? Into the new head. So entrance into heavens. Now you now say, when you see the way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. And whosoever shall what, sir? Believe in him shall have eternal life. Then the next one, for God so loved the world <laughs> and gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, show, but have what, sir? Heaven. And so those who be in heavens, we have ability not to perish. You don't get me. So it means you must have come to a place where you will not be able to perish before you can make new heaven. But this present heaven, the highest of the dimension of the heavens, which is the third heaven, because in third heavenly dimension, uh, we saw it in Psalm 104, that the creatures are even higher than the sons of the morning. Praise God. I hope I'm communicating to you. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. But this present heaven, We saw the third heavenly being in this present heaven, in the kingdom of joy and gladness of the present. I understand people, we saw being, a being perishing. But in this new one, you should not perish. <laughs> I praise the Lord. It means everlasting life is able to take care of not Perishing. So, so the materiality of incorruptibility, which moves one into being on the fire and causes you not to fade away. I love the word fade away. You know, to fade is to pass out of God's view. Human beings can see you. Creatures are seen, but God is no longer seeing you. You can, you can no, no longer abide by the laws that, I call it the law of keep before God. You're not abiding. He's not seeing you. You are faded. You can gain this whole world and you will fade. So to our inheritance, incorruptible. So of course there are dimensions in inheritance. I have said many things right now. Not so. I hope you, God gave you wisdom. So to our inheritance. So there is an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ. That is, there is something Christ wants to make you. Not so, sir. Now let us see how, what Jesus wants to make of you. So the first inheritance is the inheritance that which cometh from the law of faith. 
than the law of hope, than the law of charity. So, so when we say someone is a charity product, the elements called charity made him up. When we say someone is a charity child, the element called charity made him up. When you see him, when you see somebody actually practicing charity, is in the heaven, is in the sanctuary of God's heaven. When somebody practicing charity, it means charity as we know it. If you're going to see the equivalent of it, it's a precious stone. When you see someone as a charity bin, it's a precious stone. It's a, a bin who has gathered elements from what, my brother? From the precious stone. Is a stone which is precious. First of all, foundation stone, according to Isaiah, foundation stone. Secondly, tried stones. Stones of foundation are different from tried stones. If you understand geology, you can see Stones that has been tried. Not so. True fire. Those are stones of hope. Am I communicating, sir? Can we shout hallelujah? I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. So, Pastor, when God was creating rocks, mountains, he was, this, he was talking to you about his children. How they really look like. How they, that's who, who, that's who you are, that's your what. So when we say stone in the spirit, when we say dust in the spirit, it means stains. So you can see a man, he's in a stone, he's a dust. So before you can gain strength, upgrade from dust to stone, Kingdom has to come to you. So when kingdom comes to you, nature change. You change. And there are things you do that makes you a stone. So the first law of stone is the law of faith. To turn dust to stone. It takes the law of faith. So a dust can't obey the law of faith. That's why you see, then put something, give it, give the dust a gift, give him the new birth. So that he will hearken to leading of the spirit, which brings conversion from dust to a stone. So inside the Holy Ghost are those stones. Inside the Holy Ghost are those stones. Or inside the Holy Ghost are those laws. Now, to, when you see a stone, I mean a law is responsible for the stones. And when you say, what is the law? Go into the molecular formation of these things. Hallelujah. I, I hope I'm communicating to you. There's a way some of those rocks are arranged. They have their molecular arrangement. They have their numbers. Are you listening to me? And if you're able to tell their number, are you able to act into their number? And the way they are arranged, they are cohesion force. Are you listening to me? Then you can know why you can see a body as a stone. And if you want to turn that rock to a dust, uh, affect it from the inner structure. If you can change those numbers, you see a sand falling. And that's how Satan does. That's what the kingdom of darkness does to people. I remember in geography we call it rock formation. <laughs> form. Conform. <laughs> so when God is forming you or conforming you, 
Don't let the world conform you. Inside the world are materials to break one down. Things, laws that can cause you and I, if you're not careful, to be completely what degraded. But to appreciate as entity. That's why kingdom is an offer for an escape from those weak states. So the, when you say the kingdom of God, I have brought to you the kingdom. What am I, what am I giving to you, sir? Escape from those falling nature into a nature of safety. So we are, we are at war with a man, with a being who is breaking humanity down. That's the warfare. Now, rulers of the darkness of this world, principalities and power, spiritual wickedness in high places, even plus the wicked, they are all array. They are kingdom. They are strators. All they do is what, sir? To break man down. So the reason why you wrestle against them is not, is to, not to go bad. No, a flesh can wrestle. It's not every Christian. When you give flesh, especially, I just imagine a Nigerian flesh. You know, we have different kind of, everybody shout hallelujah. We have Jamaican flesh. We have Barbados flesh. We have uh, Canadian flesh. Oh, flesh. But let me just give you, because I'm a flesh from Nigeria. I'm no longer flesh now. Amen. Amen. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, that Jesus can turn flesh to spirit. But imagine some I, some 40 years ago, what was my thought about darkness? When I say principalities and power, I remember boys who wrote People wrote books to say one man is a principality because he's a wizard, <laughs> because he's a witch. The, the, you know, some guys come and the, in church they come and give testimony. He said, "When you see men like that, they are no longer ordinary men. They are principality and power." There was a false prophet, a false preacher in Nigeria. They call him Ho O O B O B U. In those days, oh, oh, they say that number wasn't an ordinary number. <laughs> oh, oh, obu, obu. <laughs> so that time, every Christians we are afraid. Oh, oh, obu. And then you go and confront oh, oh, obu. Then the testimony was there was a time. Hallelujah. One man who was walking with him was sent to go and do evil to a church as he was flying in the spirit. The man now fell into a church and they see him half man, half bed or something. And the big Christians began to pray. <laughs> Blood of Jesus. Then he was changing gradually. And fully became a man. And then he rose up and said, you people, you don't know the power that you have. <laughs> and that thing, do you know, it linger. That testimony linger on minds. Many of you, you are not born. The book was going around. Am I communicating to you? So in those days, when people are delivered from evil, demonic power, it's a small demon, no? But the demon is lying to the whole church. Am I talking to you? <laughs> Even that deliverance was intentional by the devil. So that they will come and teach church a doctrine that will keep church down in darkness. So when you see Kennedy he again walk by faith, the faith teaching, believe the Lord, somebody said these things can't handle the demon in Africa. Africa. African demons are more sophisticated than Egan books. Against the cast and say Jesus, I need to go. No, no. You need to tarry with the spirit of a bantala. 
carrying. Are you listening to me? Spirit around or my hand. Not all these ones you are talking. How many evil spirits they have there? What do they know about evil spirit? So they now preachers now say, so this is how you cast out evil spirit. Not the Bible way. It's in there. It's the African way. It's a lie. There's what is called African mind. Af- Say it again, every one of us. Huh? African soul. <laughs> the world, the world need to wash the Africans. Now, now check it, check internet. You see a lot of African prophets <laughs> causing men to eat grass. And they say they have power. All manner of nonsense. Amen. And I can tell you the short thing is how to drive those spirits is by teaching the word. Those lying demons. Keep teaching the word. Keep teaching the word. Now when they discover, okay, African People are changing. They now brought boys who knows how to think. Seductive spirit came and attacked Nigerian church. If you want to change Africa, change Nigeria. <laughs> if you can, because these Nigerian ministers are the ones who go out. <laughs> they can cross the sea. They are zealous. They can learn little things inside the Bible and they will carry it across the sea. Shout hallelujah. When we got to Tobago, <laughs> Pastor Hans took me to, he took us to an Indian pastor and who was the head of the Pentecostal people there, church ministers. The minute the first thing he said, he said, listen to me, Nigerians have come here. <laughs> what they have done what they have done and what his hands do with Nigerians. Aye. So God has to God has to help us with Pastor Hans. If not, Tobago will not be open. <laughs> Satan has sent some Nigerians there. I'll tell you Nigerians are so bold, even they've not learned it well. They don't care. <laughs> They don't know anything, but they will go. I think you remember when this prayer shawl was going around everywhere that come from Israel. You know those prayer shawl digits? A lot of people, I saw, I, do you know they gave it to me? My wife, when my wife saw it today, she said, what are you going to do with this thing? <laughs> I said, it's a prayer shawl. He said, so now, do you, you mean you want to use it? Hi. <laughs> I thank God for Reverend Helen. <laughs> Prayer show. The day I hated that scenario was when I saw one Nigerian preacher hang it on his neck and he was slapping the ground <laughs> on the main road. Are you getting me? I said, no, no. This is... <laughs> I said, I would never, never will I the nation among people like this. Can we say amen? amen. You know, there's a way... An African man see power. The way they see power. The way we see power is demonically, demonically taught by evil spirit. It's a demon way, demonic way of seeing power. You see, for God to get me, sit me down, are you listening to me? Number one, what God did to me is that I wasn't born in the south. I was born in the northern part of Nigeria, where all those things does not really have, are you getting the way Yoruba man see Akbara? Uh, the Yoruba man does not see Akbara the way you see it. Uh. That is, you eat something, and when you eat that thing, you become another thing. Are you listening to me? 
The, the, the Agbara is not to you. They say you are coming, you are coming, you're teaching scripture, he's looking at you. <laughs> that I just need to clap my hand and slap your forehead. You, what happened? <laughs> you begin to pee. <laughs> that is power. <laughs> so then you now mean ordinary teaching can deal with things like that. Uh -huh. So to change that mind, to wash that mind, that's why you can see legible people, credit wonderful people. You see them in all kinds of churches where they will shake neck from morning to night. And when you teach this, it doesn't mean anything to them. In fact, all these principalities and powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, many years ago, we don't see them serially as evil spirits. We believe that witches and wizards are part and parcel of them. For you to accept, for we to accept that if we have to continue in that word of faith that Egin taught for us to see that, uh -uh, Again, will thank God for again discipline the soul to take the letter of the word, and for you to see letter and agree with the letter the way it is it was written. When you say flesh and blood, of course, which is our flesh and blood? It was against spirit, against angels. I want you to see this. I'm saying this with an ulterior motive, a good one. That the kingdom of men is not on earth. What is given to man wasn't his kingdom. It's not even the kingdom of angels. It's the kingdom of fallen angels that is on earth. Hallelujah. So you can't, without inheritance, shout hallelujah. There is no, without entering the kingdom, we enter the kingdom to get the inheritance of that kingdom. So we have, when someone is in the kingdom of Christ and is still fornicating, he won't inherit anything. You can be in the kingdom and yet you are fornicating. You are not supposed to, but one can still be doing it. One can enter the kingdom and if you are in the kingdom, hallelujah, amen, after a while you lose all your inheritance. That will has no inheritance, that will add any inheritance. Does not mean he does not, he has not inherited before, but you can be disinherited. These things can gradually erode your inheritance. So we can see the two kingdoms. So the two kingdoms has inheritance. So the inheritance in the kingdom of Christ, we can see it, are three majorly. Not so. And is a gradually of inheritance till its fullness. What would say someone, you have to, must, you must have inherited Christ's kingdom. What would say Christ? It is in that king's domain you find all manner of Christ. You find different Christos. All kinds of Christ are in that kingdom. 
Because what you should inherit is Christ. What makes Christ is what the kingdom is all about. Then the next one is the kingdom of God. Amen. Let's see First Peter chapter 1, verse 9. Receiving the hand of your faith. Not so. Receiving the hand of your faith. Not so. Let's see your faith. Open, give to me First Timothy chapter 1, verse 5. End of your faith. Now the end of the faith of the commandment is charity. Out of a pure heart, amen, and of a good conscience, and of faith, on faith. So, charity, for you to say you have attained charity, you have reached the end of the commandment, you must have a pure heart. Then the next one is of good conscience and of faith on fame. Of course, you will agree with me that pure heart is a heart of hope. Pure heart is a heart of hope. That is a tried heart. That man is called a tried stone. And he does that because he had exercised good conscience. When you say somebody is good, there is a good called Christ. You say this man, this good, this product is good. This is a good of the kingdom. Is done goodness from conscience. Yes. Now, you can't move into purity of heart if your conscience is not good. Because you can shipwreck feet out of what's that? Art. Let's see. Holding faith now. And what's that? Good conscience. Verse 9. Is that the same? It's there. It's there. Is it 19? Does it get to 19? Holding faith and a good conscience, which some, having put away concerning faith, have made sheep wreck. So, and a good which some having what uh, holding faith and a good conscience which some having put away concerning faith. So, is it what people put away is good conscience? So, what keep the sale of faith is good conscience. So, if the conscience is not good, what happens to faith? It won't get to the next what sir. Uh, Voyage, the next level of is the pure heart or hope. When somebody is in hope of Christ, then God can trust that man with the hand of the commandment. So the hand of the commandment is the hand of that faith vessel, voyage. That faith is going somewhere and has an hand. And when he gets to charity, hallelujah, when he gets to charity, God can say, now, this one has fulfilled the commandment. This one can 
respond to next inheritance. So, receiving the hand of your faith, the hand of my faith, which is the salvation of my soul. End of your faith, Titani, is the salvation of your soul. Responding to the hand. Now, these are the things we need to receive. A lot of many problems, the, the plague, plague in churches, is especially African churches, not European churches. European church, maybe American European churches. White churches, if well tilled and there's an access, they won't have problem receiving things like this. But Africa, what works, what we are taught to respond to, uh, things which passes away. Good job. Good opportunities. For example, Nigerians, we have passion for those things. We have some kind of passion for it. We worship them. I'm sorry to say this. They are nice. They are goods of this world. But they should not be elevated more than what will make me last. And Satan puts those things there to stop me, to disinherit me. He doesn't want me, you and I, to come into inheritance. That you can understand, and the minds of people here is that they have also a greater challenge than you. That's why the gospel can cut through, through to us in Africa easily because of our problem is physical. <laughs> but there's, there is something else. There's is more spiritual. An woman may not need money. Can live in one house for a long time. And then keep one simple job for a long time. But he has something that you can't take away from him. He doesn't want your money. He doesn't want your thing. In fact, when you try to give him money, he'll ask you why. <laughs> why are you paying me? Now, somebody told me a white man comes to the house and all that and help him. Then on Christmas Day, he decided to pay him more. Just to say, this is Christmas. He now wrote later and I appreciated him. And when he appreciated the Nigerian man, I listened to him and said, it means he won't need, he won't him, that the next job he will be doing for him, he will do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, but a Nigerian man will say, he will go back home and give testimony. <laughs> ah! That man is a nice man. But the white man, sir, he doesn't want your gift. He, he, he is proud. But, and God does not like that. To God, that is a problem. You, mean you, want, you can't receive gifts. Why? Inside the their mind they have been taught that they should not come under anybody 
and they don't want anything from you. But God is going to help them to receive gifts. Now God will break down the pride of nations. He will break nations into shivers as the potter beat the vessel. He will break them down so that people will receive. You see, people need to learn to receive. I, I am saying, now I, in Nigeria right now, many go for meeting to receive things. <laughs> many go to. We have thousands. I thank God for the Christian that is there, but the people are still at a lower level of receiving. Now, to raise that capacity of people up for them to be able to receive things beyond what will pass away, we need help. Now, look at this. Receiving the hand of your faith. So, when you teach this receiving, people say, what you are teaching is not relevant. Mm -hmm. That's an abuse. That is profanity. Such, whether you're a pastor, you're a minister, you're a bishop, if you say this is not relevant to church now, it means you are profane. Because of a morsel of bread, you won't allow salvation to come to people. A preacher will hear, we don't need him now. Now, people have problems. Who can help people solve their jobs? Ministers are not called to solve people's problems. A whole lot of people are doing it without, without God. Right now, Elon Musk is a problem to pastors. Elon Musk. <laughs> are you getting me? Because Elon Musk has proven that, listen to me, you don't need to call God to go to Mass. Then little kids in church are saying, you see, you don't really need... <laughs> and the young ones are saying, you see, you don't really need all these powers, all these things to get money. Look at Elon Musk, for example. Then, then the pastors began to warn. Yes, you can get the money, but if you get the money without God. <laughs> no, the, no, no. <laughs> what the kids are saying, the pastors are not hearing. Can you give us something? Is there anything else? Is that all that we have, you have to offer? Well, you can now see that what God wants to give to souls is salvation. It's a receiving the hand of your faith. Even what, sir? I love this. Now, let's go back to chapter 1. That verse, you're in chapter 1. Give me verse 4. To an inheritance, incorruptible, on the file, that fades not away. Like I said, I describe this inheritance different from that of the nature of angels in the present because, um, amen. Now, this thing, I want to tell you how it works. We have, just a, we have one kind of feeling about how it works. Uh, you just feel maybe when you see an angel, an angel, this is, there is a spiritual sense in the house today. Mm. I want us to labor into it. Mm. Now, when you see these creatures, these angels are set by God. It's true. They are set and tuned by God. But God wants them to maintain their state. but they can be distuned. Hmm. If Satan, among the cherubs, could be distuned, they themselves, if you ask them, they are not as confident as most people look at them. If, now, they are beings of high, high 
of the heavens. So when they say something on the fire that fades not away, are you listening to me? I'm sure some of us will think, okay, immediately I get to this state. I will not, bah! I will just be like a stone. <laughs> no. No. God will bring materials that he's going to use in culturing your soul. To refuse corruption and disagree to be defiled and remain unfading. It's your mercy is granted your will not to reverse back into corruption. That's what I'm saying. It means your cooperation is highly needed. Now, this is, this is where you gain the mastery, sir. Over time practice. Yes, ma. It is because it is in well-doing. You have to be doing something until you do it above temptation. Yes, ma'am. You keep doing it, doing it, and doing it. We have to, so we have some long time to stay here. Yeah. We have, that's what I mean by doer of the word. Mm. Hallelujah. So the doing of the word is to resist, refuse, Hallelujah. and deliberately choose that which is good and refuse the evil. So, power is coming to you to refuse evil. A time will come you will do it so perpetually that it becomes permanent. I hope I'm communicating. So, they will now say, you are sealed. It has become your usual practice. So no salvation will come to you by sitting down and then what happened to you? And then, and then you woke up and then you are saved. Not that bad. It means, this is it, very easy. You see corruption, you see the incorruptible. They will place two plates before you. Corruption and water. Do you still want to be dishing porridge from the pot of corruption. Because the early hours of the morning you wake up. You now see spiritual wickedness, cooking porridge with oil. Shout hallelujah. It's tearing it before your eyes. crayfish, ground it. <laughs> Palm oil and the thing is red from afar. <laughs> and then you look the incorruptible. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> no, no milk. <laughs> and then they will say, God will say, my, my, my son, take this hoot, for it is the word of hoot. <laughs> ah! But the other porridge, what happens now? Is the fruit of the ground, yam. Let's see verse 7 of chapter 2. 
of Romans, to them who by patience continue as in well doing, this is it with when you keep doing, you keep doing, seek for glory and honor and immortality and what's that? And eternal life. Now, if you are not a doer, you won't get these things. That tells you that all these things they are all doing. Oh. That's okay. Now, the purpose of eternal life, the eternal life is the only one you will do. And there won't be an opposition. Everlasting life you can't do without being opposed. That opposition is called temptation. So God can't allow you to come into eternal life except you have overcome. So those who are saved are those who will do eternal life. So when you do without war, it's a reward. Uh, that's why it's faster. That's why it's quick. Can we shout hallelujah? I, I guess I'm lower this night. I, I'm happy. Yesterday was a bastion. All kinds of uh, you know, cracking formulas and all that. Today, uh, shout hallelujah. Can we say amen? How many of you are blessed today? Shout hallelujah. So finally, uh, I want to quickly go to the book. Tomorrow, we'll be ending this uh, program. Hallelujah. And then we will leave the rest for Pastor Hans and Pastor Kedian on Saturday. Uh, Jeff, if I'm right, put your hand up. Let me see. Okay. Thank you. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Uh, can we shout hallelujah? Now, um, we can see it's in well-doing. God wants you to do these things. Amen. Uh, let's go back to First John. So, like I said, you must have been doing the Father. The last inheritance is to do Son and the Father. You must be a doer of the Son and the Father. Whosoever transgressed, that is... Take me to before. Take me to First John, chapter two. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is a liar? Verse twenty-two. Well, he that deny that Jesus is the Christ, you will start lying when you begin to deny the Christ of Jesus then you become an antichrist. Not so? One who becomes an anti antichrist, meaning anyone who does transgress against Christ, opposite of Christ, an opposer of Christ, anti-Christ. It can only take an antichrist to deny the Father and the Son. It's a gradual practice. Then this is how you know a liar. Hmm. A liar does something, does a thing opposite to truth. A liar does a thing called, which is opposite to the truth. So what is opposite to the truth is lie. Jesus Christ, like I said, is the first truth, not so. If you've not done him, you become an, you become another Christ. That's it. Ready for the lie. You can't stop lying. But if you acknowledge and you deny it not Jesus Christ, you will later do the Father and the Son. Meaning you do the greater truth. This is life. This is life on earth. This is how we should live. In this world.
thank God for many Christians who are in heaven right now who never attained this though even sincere they are in heaven God does not want people to come to heaven he doesn't want you coming to heaven Jesus said he didn't say you should take them out of this place <laughs> that's not my prayer I want them here then keep them from the evil So to, I, I love the word keep, pastor. The word keep means save them here. When they are being kept from the evil, hallelujah, that is the season that they can be liable to receiving eternal life. Because he said this is life eternal. It's in the same chapter. Keep them from the evil so that they can receive the promise. Take me back to where I'm coming from. That deny the Father and the Son. Then the next one, whosoever denied the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledges the Son at the Father also. He that acknowledges the Son. Is it, is it that word acknowledges? Regard the Son. Another one for that regard is honorate the Son. If you don't honor the son, you won't honor the father. But an antichrist, sir, sir, an antichrist will never honor the son. Anti antichrist can't honor the son. Who is an antichrist? He who have done, who had transgressed the law. Of Christ, which is the law of life and peace. You form enmity against God. I don't care who you are. You are an enemy. And the world may not see you. You are some kind of enemy. And I can tell you people, men need to be careful with Satan. Pastor Park, am I complicating? I say men need to be what, sir? Because he wants to turn any man. There's a way he can turn a man and you may not know. You're already gone. He can make you God's enemy by coming to you in a perspective that makes you feel you are right. And then he puts things in you not to, <laughs> not to allow the furtherance of the things of Christ. So you say just this Christ, 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 Christ. The other teaching. Imagine a believer and say Christ, 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 Christ. <laughs> a believer, Christ, 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 Christ. There are other teachings. Then you really know that soul does not really like Christ. <laughs> it doesn't like him. They don't like him. The Christ people like is Jesus. The person who asked the disciple, uh, do we have money in the pot? How will they eat? <laughs> then the other said, Master. Are you getting me? <laughs> no, right now, it's only a few pennies we have and of course, you all know as you are my master that the only thing I right now is that uh, I said you want them to go hungry. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> then he will tell the rest miracle is about to happen, I tell him. <laughs> Show time has come. Miracle time has come. 
you see power now. Then one said, what we found, sir? They know the, those disciples, they know the miracle. They know it. They know. What we find is a boy with a bread, with some bread and fishes. Is that, they know. They want him to multiply it. <laughs> if you turn water to wine, we know. You think they've been following Jesus, they are foolish. They know. They've seen miracles. And Jesus prayed, miracle happened. Ah, ah, ah. Now, that is what Jesus can do. But Jesus said, no, what I want you to do is not what I can do. I want you to do. Are you getting me? Do who I am. And when some, you know, when you look at the preachers of the word of righteousness, their forehead at times can get you angry. <laughs> because of the things they want to emphasize. Do me, do me. You know, said I can fill you with anger. He said, you are. He said, this man is not having mercy on people. It's just Christ. No. The answer to people. You don't know people. You don't even know what human need. What human being needs is not clothes. I'm not lying to you. The need of men is not clothes. What man needs is not what, my brother. What man needs? Man was not born with clothes. With his wife, he was walking naked in the garden. So Satan brought man out of the place where God placed him so that needs can be created for him. And that needs will ever be attended to. So that the real thing he needed will never. It's a wisdom. We are at war with the God. Our Lord Jesus, we thank you. That the he that he is an antichrist, he is antichrist, he is an antichrist that denies the Father. When you see this antichrist is not an antichrist who rose up from the sea with seven horns, ten horns, fifty-five face. Am I communicating to you? Am I lying to you? This, this, this is a brother in the church. It takes time to find them out. And it can be the prayer warrior. It can be what, sir? Before you know it, amen. You no longer see if you are state church. Ah, but I'm Italian. What happened? Brother Vitalis, you are no longer coming. No, no. I have higher power. The gods have shown me that I have higher purpose. I need to be involved in. There is a community there that needs a church planted. Apostle Gaswagi told me. So we have to plant church. You people already made, don't worry. We don't need to spoon feed you anymore. Aren't you grown? You are grown right now. It's gone. <laughs> he can't take the teachings of the son. When you like what works, you will hate the work. Mm. Is that clear, Pastor Pat? So, inheritance. What is an inheritance? Christ is the first inheritance. The next inheritance was the, that is incorruptible, undefiled, that faith not away, is the Son and the Father. Hi, I love that statement. Honoring the Son. There is what the Son is. I'm not just saying who is the Son. What the Son is that causes you 
not to be corruptible. So the provision, when it says son, what God did in the son, what God made the son to be, sir, shout hallelujah. So the son is a kind of a work that can reverse corruption. The son is a kind of a work that will cause what, sir, take corruption away. Because corruption is the globes of Satan. Anywhere it touches, that place is in trouble. When Satan's hand is in a place, he will corrupt it. He, look at what he was doing. Gunning for the body of Moses. Eh? You think Satan would take the body and the body will be free? He would decompose it. He claims, I'm talking about even physically, touching that body, just... He wanted to put his hand on the body and take something out of the body. Breaks down the vitality of the body. Then you can see Michael, the true ministry of a cherubim. I only see what happened. One decomposes. One keeps. So why were they contending? He wanted to break the body down. Because the body was lasting more than what, sir? The time it should be. Because of what the body has gone through. It's the body of the Holy One, of an Holy One. Yeah. So you can see what Satan wants to do. He wants to accelerate the, the death process. As long as that body remains, hear me, as long as that body of Moses remains, hallelujah, Moses' soul can call for his body. Because a time will come when you have done well by God, your body can follow you. It's, a, it's, not, just, it's not just an ordinary obedience. You must have done some things to allow your body to follow you. Someone like Elijah. Not so. What did God do? God, he refused to even come out of the body. Moses came out and Moses entered. So Michael took the body to heaven. And what happened to Moses? He entered back his body. Talk your blesser. But why would Jesus say you will not have, allow my body to see corruption? corruption? Why? Well, Jesus shouldn't be praying. He shouldn't be praying for that. Why? Because sin was laid on the body. So you can see the voltage of sin that was laid on that body to break it. It's the sin of the whole world. Which we who on in his own body bear our sins in his own body. So they put not just sins of sin and death, hell and death. Sir, that body refused to leave Jesus until he gave it up. He has to give the body up. If God didn't put sin on that body on the cross, if Jesus come, number one, it would have been impossible. Number two, even if Jesus allowed it, the body, no matter, when you bury it, it won't bury Because it's the body of an it's the body of not a it's an only one. It was Adam. Can you take Adam's body? Adam's body, am I communicating to you? If you take his spirit and put his body in the grave, what will happen? The body will rise because it's higher than the dust. Jesus' body wasn't dust. It was a living soul body. If the body were a quickening spirit, no sin can be laid on it. Okay, let me just give you an example of Paul. 
they stone Paul. Are you getting me? It got to a time, even stone couldn't kill him. <laughs> Saints just gather. They created an, well, an enabling environment. When those saints gathered around, they didn't pray. They, they said the saints just gather. Then life came and he rose up. The body came. All those things, the stones, all those bruises went away. The body healed itself. The body healed itself. And it began to go away. How many of you know that the pulse body, after a while, could not be drawn by water? A night, and what happened to him? I was in a deep. <laughs> he was where? Where? A night was that? <laughs> so when they say deep, Deep is not rival. Deep is sea. Sea. Aegean sea. When you see sea, have you ever seen sea before? When you face the sea. Imagine one man being on that sea in the deep. In the night. And when they say deep, it's not 10 feet old. And later on, he, he had floated after some time. Kai. Twice was I beaten with rod. Once I was I stoned. Twice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I have seen the deep. The only record of shipwreck we had was the one in Hearts. There were, there were two of them that were not recorded. I give praise to God. I just... I'm about to finish. Uh, hallelujah. Look at the, this is serious. Deep. They say they call the ten pence when he reclined on. Euro. If from the word European, no? Hero, Clyde on. That was Dawn. Because it's London. Not so. <laughs> then the middle was Clyde. It's, it's, it's a wind. It's not an ordinary wind. It must have been coming from there. It's a wicked wind. It's an European word, sir. <laughs> but thank God for that wind. That wind was, a, was afraid of Paul because he was going to Europe. Yes. Going actually to Europe. Mm. That was the time the gospel moved to Europe. When the gospel got to Rome, Italy. When they passed the regions of the Greek, they got to proper Europe. Paul stayed in Rome. Thank you, Jesus. We give praise to God. You know, he was ministering around Asia before. Praise God. All those areas, Cappadocia, Bithynia. Then he moved from there, past the agency. He stopped in the regions of the Greeks. Then that day, after a while, that he was sailing to Rome. And it was commissioned by the Lord Jesus. Jesus said he must appear before Caesar. He must go to Rome, and he went. Sir, so because of the move of God, 
That's why they have to win the game. It's to stop it. But we give praise to God. I just let's just do small work here. A big work, sorry. Shout out. First of all, the inheritance that is on the fire, you need two beings together. You need the manifestation of two beings to be saved. So are we seeing it? What is called salvation is the Father and the Son. And if the Father and the Son are salvation, verse 5. It's, so this inheritance is reserved in heaven for you. What is it, sir? In heaven. Now when we say heaven for you, does not only mean physical heaven where angels dwell. Can I use the word for you? Are you ready? Are we ready for me? So when we say heaven, it can be a firmament. God kept it in a firmament. The where it can be garrison, where it can be kept, is in a firmament. You have to get through that heaven to get that inheritance out. So what keeps the inheritance is an heavenly frame. So if you are not thinking this heaven, you won't hope to leave the inheritance. So your inclination and what keeps the, that product in the reserve is heavenly. Mingon wrote design and heavenly space to shield the inheritance. So have the inheritance when you don't have, if you can't take away what keeps the inheritance? Meaning you must gain the thoughts. Yes, sir. Come on. You must have the thoughts of the inheritance of the heavens. Say heaven. Now when we say now, look at it. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all Spiritual blessings in heavenly places. In who? In Christ. In Christ. It means the blessings in Christ. When you open Christ, there is an heaven in Christ. So heaven in Christ... Is not physical habitat. So what God called heavens are certain materials, certain things which God used in laying the heavenly belt in the sun. Then he put things there. Hello, sir. And that is why you can't get the inheritance if you don't take away those heavens. So what is keeping the inheritance from being rich? They are some kind of heaven that angels can't come true to. Or they can't resolve. I just say, um, now, what was it? So that heaven can be wisdom. Hmm. Such heaven can be some kind of wisdom that angels are not inclined to. I call it mind that angels don't have. So God can throw an heaven and throw it into a space and put things in it. But it's a thought. Hmm. Yes, sir. It's a thought. It's heaven. 
then unravel the thought. Get the thought. You would touch the inheritance. So you can't take out the inheritance from his heaven. This is another one. Everyone wants me to teach. Like Jeff was prophesying. This is the thing. Now, you can't inherit any of this inheritance without gaining the heavenly, the heavenly shroud. The heavenly... The heavens of the inheritance. The heavenly veil. The product itself is an es is in the expanse of heavenly kind. So, the expanse allows anything you see, sky, blue, star, they are taught in God. Before God could paint our sky and made our sky and put galaxy in our space, he's already seen it in his mind. Meanwhile, that was an inferior planet, inferior galaxy, inferior world, inferior expanse. Then God spoke it. It became something physical. Holy Ghost gave it a body. But rather, first of all, it's a thought. So, sir, before an heaven will appear, it's already in God's heart. So, something is in God's heart. So, if it's a thought, Pastor K, if it's a thought, it's a kind of wisdom. If you reject the sphere that keeps the inheritance, you can't gain the inheritance. Because there is an attachment of the inheritance and that which keeps the inheritance. It's just like, hello, sir. They give you a cake. Not so. What is cake is not the high sin. The high sin keeps the cake. So it's not easy to take away the high sin. So when you get the cake, some people can't eat the high sin. They still boils them to eating the cake. So all I'm saying is that you can't assess the inheritance without his heaven. His heaven leads to the inheritance. Gain the heavens, receive the inheritance. It's in heavenly places, it's in Christ. Then give me first Peter, please. Shout hallelujah. There's a lot today. To our inheritance, incorruptible, on the fire, faded not away. So you can see why reserved in heaven for you. Where is he reserved? For who? So uh, oftentimes we look up. Go up, you won't see it there. <laughs> Honestly, you won't see it there. <laughs> you go up, you won't watch that. Can you tell me where it is? It's in Christ. But Go to the earth, you won't see. Come back to the earth, you won't see it there. Ask me where it is in the earth. See it in the Bible first. God has written, God has really kept it in a book. Where is it, son? Where? It's from the written material. You touch the reality of it. Where is it kept? So don't play with the Bible. It's in the Bible. So God has spoken about the heavens and the inheritance and they are in the scriptures. 
hid in plain sight. Right now, this inheritance in the Bible. You can read the Bible and study the Bible and see it. The letter itself is not the actual inheritance. That's not the actual experience. The experience, to experience it, this heaven is with the Holy Ghost or in the Holy Ghost. Go. So God gave Holy Ghost the heaven and the inheritance and he kept it in him. So like I said, the kingdom of God, righteousness, and what my brother? And what? So now I am talking about the jaw in the Holy Ghost. It is this operation, it is this hid inheritance. Hidden inheritance. Help me, son. Take me back to where I'm. Take, just take me back. I'm, I've left there. I'm, I'm just staying. Amen. I give you praise. Reserve this hid inheritance is reserved in heaven for you. If you are not willing to learn of heaven, you won't get the inheritance. So the inheritance and the heavens have become one. So the inheritance has become an heavenly thing. Thank you so much. The inheritance and the heaven are one. So the inheritance has become what, sir? An heavenly thing. So heavenly thing is incorruptible. An heavenly thing is undefiled. Heavenly thing does not pass away. Now you can see it also in Hebrew how he mentioned, he said, Holy brethren, not so, partaker of the heavenly calling. This is the calling in heaven. Come and take the heavens. So there, the inheritance of Christ is not heaven. Where is he kept? Is at of God. Is in the earth of God. Such what a wonderful inheritance. But the Father and the Son, who are they, sir? They are the heaven of God. Thank you so much. You see? Who are they, sir? Heaven of God. Can we say that again? Heaven of God. All of us should say that again, sir. I want us to shout it again. Now, you remember that place in Psalm 104? You see, God walked upon the, what, my brother? Winds of the wind. Who make it cloud his chariot? Now, from, let us see it. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh cloud his chariot? Beams of his chambers. Layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters. What is he doing with beams of his chambers? Not so. In the waters. So you can see the waters directly over the cloud. The waters. When you were talking, the water is an heaven. Verse 2. You cover yourself with light as with a garment. Come on, now stretch out heavens like a curtain. You stretch out heavens like what, sir? All of us shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So if I'm going to name it, 
I said, God gives me more light. But this is the light I see. I start to be corrected. I see the Son of God as the waters. I see the Father as the curtains. So you can see the works. The water is a being. Listen to me. Not so, sir. It's got chambers. Are you listening to me? The water is a beam. The pillars of the waters are laws in the sea. Then the curtains are a roof, which is a covering over the waters. Or a father. Are you listening to me? You get right say, A father is he who covers. Then God was showing me here, He was speaking to me some time ago. There was a mountain against Zerubbabel. That was not a physical mountain, it was a spirit. It was an angel. That was Lucifer, son of the morning, who stood in the region of Persia against Zerubbabel and against the temple. Then Ezekiel, at times, it's not prayer, oh God, take it away. He took prophecy of Haggai and Zechariah to encourage Joshua, the son of Josedek, and Zerubbabel, so that the, continue, the building of the temple will continue. Somebody hates you to be built up. Gate is a being. So when the prophet saw a rock, a mountain, it was a being. Those angels can design themselves as mountains. And you think it's an... It's, now, Jesus, if Christ could do it as a rock, following Israel in the wilderness. So those beings, sir, you think it's a mountain, you want to sit on it, not knowing it's what, sir? It's a being. When you see this book of uh, Pastor, Daddy, you remember the book of Revelation? The first trumpet sounded. He said there was a mountain mingled with blood. That is not just a rock. It's a creature. Then you can see the red stars are falling. <laughs> oh, great mountain. Look at the way they... Who art thou? Oh, great mountain. Sir. <laughs> they are, see the way the person they are addressing it as a person. Who art thou? Thou shall become a plane. Is an angel. You see this thing that you see as a mountain? It's a woo. Yesterday the Lord was telling me, he said, they, it's actually a woo. The Lord told me, he said, it's a person. It's an angel. Who had thou? <laughs> Great mountain. When Lucifer will constitute himself as a mountain. And John said, Every mountain shall be brought low. And hills shall become plain. 
So thou shalt become a plain. Okay. I've not seen this verse like this before. It takes time to see scripture. Pastor, what is causing it? Mountain. Then he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shoutings. So it means that plain will now become the seat of the manifestation of the head of the church. And what will be the shoutings on it? Grace. 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 That grace is, is, is the book is book of John chapter 1. Is grace for grace. This is the grace of everlasting life. The fullness of grace. 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 And grace. Holy Ghost, I want to thank you. The spirit of yesterday has returned. I'm telling you the truth. That thing has come right now. And of his fullness have all we received. And grace for grace. The first grace is the son. The first grace is the son. The last grace is the father. Grace for grace. Without the Son, you can't have the Father. But the Son is full of grace and truth. Not so. So the fullness of the grace of God are two graces. Do you agree with me? There's the glory of the only begotten Son. Not so. But this one is as the glory of the Son of God, full of grace and truth. Grace. Grace. So you can see, Pastor, sir, in the Son, there is a pillar of grace. And there is pillar of truth. All these things are in the Bible. Right over the waters is another beam. You see the cutting as the heavens, Aliyah, is not just an expanse. When God is stretching out the heaven as a cutting, he's stretching out the fatherhood. Is, is stretching out himself. I don't know how for that cutting. It's a veil. Pastor Cain also. I remember the first encounter of the daddy, of our daddy. One anamnesis. A long time anamnesis. I had received an encounter of the Lord Jesus. But this time around, the father came for the first time. The word he was using for himself is that I am sheet. I am a cloth. I didn't understand it many years. It's now I am seeing it that I am actually a covering. So when they say God is love, that's why he can cover sins. Love covereth multitude of sins. So that's why his nature covers. Anybody who wants to be a father must learn to cover. So the, the first garment of God is light. The second garment, the, 
the 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 the, the what's it called? The rug of God is heavens. And that heavens is his fatherhood. That is the father stands before, stands under the operation of the manifestation of the full Elohim. So the father as curtains stands over the manifestation of the son. Hear me? This is wisdom. All these are heavens and these heavens are beings. I have just shown you, I think I have taught you some things about mountain is a being. So a curtain can be a being. Water can be a being. Just allow, that you see as water. Just wait for it. It can change form and become rock. And literally, it becomes like a transparent water and it's moving away. Are you getting me? That's a walk. That's the sun. So what the element called water represent in the spirit as an heaven meaneth something. Waters above creation means something. Together we are here today. Oh. Quickly pray that we will finish very early. <laughs> Just pray for me. That thing has landed. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> Truly, I'm the father of Pastor Uzo. Everybody shout out the Lord. He got that thing from me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And you know, you confessed in Lego that. A son of Elias. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Pastor Ola is too wise. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Jeff, you don't know what you went dog out. <laughs> eh? Hadi Karofa. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. That's a maker. Hallelujah. <laughs> ah, thank you. Help me. Hallelujah. Ha, 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 ha. I, I, I see Tosin in Lagos spirit. And, uh, quickly get the microphone, Tosin. Quickly, quick. The alert. Hallelujah. We are not connecting. Hallelujah. Pastor K, did you say? I need the interpretation. It 
Are you, you can't receive audio? Amen. We'll shake it all now. continue to teach. I need that interpretation, no problem. <sighs> Satan can stop us. Let's get that. Pastor Jeff, God. Uh, we will receive the what's it called the interpretation is ready. Then we can lay it again over. I think they have it recorded. Amen. 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 Let me not. Amen. Let me not spirit. lose the spirit. Let's go. Out in about, out in about. And let me not God lose covering God covering himself. It's stretching out the stretching heavens, out the heavens like, like a cotton. A cotton. These heavens, these heavens are the are one, the in, one in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Now, sorry, the heavens in the sun. This is the Father in the sun. When Jesus said, you that day, you know that I am in my Father, and the Father in me. When Jesus is, when you meet Jesus, and talks with you, he said, he Jesus said to you, I can bring the heavens. I can, I as water will bring the heavens. That's strange. You won't know what he's saying. But he alone understood what he's saying. So the heavens, like I said, is the covering of the chamber. I want you to look at the chamber as a house, not so. So the roof of the house is what, my brother? Are the 
stretched heavens over the water. These waters are higher even than the clouds of heaven. It's present heaven. So Jesus need to rely in his on his own father. Thank you. Give me that place. What must I do that when I do the works of God? Let's see it. I know that this this theme is timely, is heaven that chose it. They said unto him, What shall we do to that we might walk the works of God? Works of God. And Jesus answered, This is now, Jesus answered in singular terms. They asked questions in plural terms. This is the work of God. That ye believe on him whom he had sent. That is the work of God. And him that he had sent is God's work. Thank you, so it's clear the Son is a walk of God. It is my Father that dwelleth in me that doeth the works. The words that I speak unto you. That is this at 14. The Father that is dwelling in him is the one speaking the works. The works that I say unto you, it's not I that do it, but my Father that dwelleth in me. Now, the indwellingness of the Father, yes, very awesome. He said, believe thou knows, thou know that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, it doesn't, it takes some time for you to be in the Father. Pastor, the Father can be in you. Holy Ghost is in you, but you are not in the Holy Ghost yet. Many people. So the Father, first of all, dwelt in him. And now what happened to him? He now dwelt in the Father. How did he dwell in the Father? Open to 15 of John. Thank you. He said, abide now, abide in me, chapter 15, and I in you. Are you seeing this one? Abide in me, and where? And I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, it said, it abide in the vine. No more can ye said, ye abide in me. So like uh, the same board is that the little, the, the, the younger, the smaller, first of all, the Father dwells in one, or the Holy Ghost dwells in us, or Christ dwells in us, for us to abide in Christ. Now, entering into the Holy Ghost is entering into the Spirit. Not so. Is it walk ye in the spirit? When is it walk ye in God? Is entering into the Father. Verse. Finally, I give you glory.
verse 10 of John chapter 15. I want us to see what this is. Now, verse 10, not for Samuel TK. Hallelujah. Of John chapter 15. If ye keep my commandments, abide in my love. Even as I have kept my father's commandment and abide in his love. So the father's commandment is the release of the father. The release of the father is the giving of the father to the son. For the father, for the son to abide in the father, to abide in the love of the father, Hallelujah, he's to abide in the Father. So the Father dissipates love. He discharges love atmosphere or love world. That is the word. Sir. The love world that the Father is and told the Son, enter here. Stay in me. Abide here. Abide in this love. Abide in my love. So, the first love of God was the love that dwelt in the Son of Soul. And the first, last love, this is where I'm going, is the one the Son abode in. So, the first one that the Son has is what makes the Son. That's right. God gave commandment to the Son. So the love of God for the Son. Look at me. There are two loves. Mm. This is the book of Revelation now. Chapter 2. Not so. What was the first love? Last love. First love. Last love. Okay. First love. What? Last love. First love is the love of the Father in the Son. The love of sonship. <laughs> I call that the love of the son of the father. Pax, did you see that, sir? The love that makes a son of the father. Then the last one is the love. Where find the son? Where the son ab abides. The abiding place of the Son is the world of the Father, which is the love of the Father. So, first love is the Son of God. God has that in itself. Not so, Pastor. What do I say, sir? The first love is what, sir? Is the sonship love. In the Father, the Son, in the Father. Not so. So, first love is the truth. Because Jesus is the Son of the Father in truth and love. So, first love is the truth of the Father. Last. Love is the last suit is the love of the Father. I hope I'm, you are seeing it. I hope you know I told you that thing has come again. That thing I was preaching yesterday. And the shout I let out in tongue came out of a lot is that world is opening. Amen. Audio file. Oh.
Okay. Let, amen. I want us to hear the prophecy. Is it podcast? Can they hear it? Okay. I want everybody. So we, we lost. We want to play it from London. Thank you. Anybody who wants to be a father was left in So the, the, the fourth garment of God is light. The second garment. The 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 Amen. Can we shout hallelujah? Let me not just lose this stuff. Heaven is talking. I know thy works, thy services and fit, book of Revelation, thy patience, thy work, and the last book of the Moist. TK, take me, just take me back to where I am. Don't move ahead of me now. Nevertheless, no, take me to John. Take me to John. Hallelujah. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Even as, you see, he calls one my love. This is not Christ. This is the Son of God. Have, are you seeing it, sir? This love is the first love. Calls one my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and what happens? Sir? And abide in his what, sir? So he too later he abode, he abided where? In the Father's love. Well, that thing called the Father and the Son, both of them are works. We are seeing it, sir. In everlasting life, both are walks so the first walk is the son the highest walk is the father the father is so great really, that you can't do him raw as a father you can't start with him you won't understand him so he has to manifest itself one manifestation is to step down. It's it's walk. So the first walk is a son. That is why when you deny the son, you will not you will also deny the father because the son and the father are one. Write this one down. You know, yesterday I taught on eternal power. If you, if you can remember your chart, I taught on eternal power. Praise God. And I said, underneath the only God, only true God is the true God. So is it possible for you to write that the old true God is what, sir? Is love. I said, he said, God is love. Not so. Can we, can we, is that clear? 
what did I just say there? God is love. This thing, the apostles understood it. God is love. So when you're going to really check God, who is love? Everything is God two dimension or stature. You know what I'm trying to say? The Son is a measure in the Father. Every time of that manifestation, the Father. When he comes down there, he starts with you as a son. That's it, sir. He will start with you as a son. These are mystery. There is a joy in my heart as I'm talking to you. These are things I am just saying. I don't know what I, I have words. I, I lack words to describe it. I'm seeing the the manifestation of it of divine being, divine nature. So his first manifestation is that he's a son. That is the person that Christ can relate to. That is the door to Christ. I want to say something to you. When Jesus said, I am the door to the sheepfold, it's not every Christian that is a sheep. Sheep are Christ. Are coming into everlasting life. Hmm? All sheep are Christ. Their door is the Son of God. So the door to it is also the first pasture of every sheep because God's intention is to immune the sheep with incorruption. Yeah. So that the sheep will go no more out. Every sheep wants to go out. What makes a sheep to go out is a goat nature. That tells you that that thing has not been completely here. So bringing the sheep into the fold of the shepherd. Am I talking? Which is the sheep fold. Because the shepherd himself is the sheep of the father. The father himself is the sheep of the father. Not so. Or the flock of God. The shepherd, our Lord Jesus. Our Lord Jesus is God's sheep that God led and God made to sit on the throne. Right now, he's no longer being led to be fed. It has reached a place where what we call the destination of a sheep. Where sheep ought to get to. The end of every sheep is on the throne. What God, listen to me, the destiny of every sheep is for them to see it on the throne. He said, I am the door. By me, if any enter, any man enter in, he shall be saved. This is so. He's talking about salvation of the soul. And shall go in out and find pasture. And shall go in and out. Look at me, sir. It means in the pasture is an in. And in the pasture is an out. When you go in, you'll find the son. Later on, you go out of the Son, you'll get the Father. So both the Son and the Father are pastures. So the final pasture in everlasting life is the Father himself. Our Daddy. For a, you say, for a sheep to be completely whole, whole, 
is for that sheep to eat the father. The sheep will reach his apex in life as he has eaten the father. And that's what God's desire is for every sheep. Is for every sheep to come into everlasting life. Amen? Amen. Now God has designed this, that life is love. I want to teach that for a while. Life is love. Life is love. I want everybody to say that. Life love. is love. Thank you, O Shepherd. Hmm. Say it again after me. Life, life is love. Corruption is love. Incorruption is love. You should eat incorruptible to undefiled. Keep eating it until you get to a place where you can no longer be defiled. I am too sure the fadingness, unfadingness, is actually a, 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 a exclusively reserve of the Father. Is the pasture that the Father is, and is also a dimension of love called the love of the Father. Anybody who comes here, the, he comes into a place where he is kept of God. The Father keeps you. Ah, oh, hallelujah. You, you, you understand? The Father keeping you to keep a man. When you are kept here. Sir, this is the realm. This is a man that can approach light which no man can approach. Now, by his nature, we gain his love. We learn the love of the Son. We perfect it with the love of the Father. Can we shout hallelujah? Now, how many of us, we are with me that if they are love, if they are works, it means they can be wrought in us. Give me Second John. Second John. Quickly. Who's, no, give me verse 8. You have left verse 7 and 8. Please. For many deceivers have entered into the walk. Kai. They have. What have they done, sir? What walk is that, Pastor Kay, sir? To, to the walk, to the realm of the Son and the realm of the Father. Who confess, said not that Jesus is come in the flesh? This is a deceiver and is an antichrist. What are, where are they entering into? Into the work. What work? Work of making me incorruptible, on the fire. That's the purpose of the pasture called God or the Father. This is an antichrist. Verse 8. Let's see. Let's see. Look to yourself that. Be careful. Look to yourself that we lose not those things which we have wrought. These apostles have walked. Not so. So some people, you know, that's why, that is what you, a lot of people are careless. Pastor, a lot of pastors, they don't guard God in people. But they can expose people to people who give them money, who make them successful. They will say, listen, you don't hold Christianity tight. Don't be, listen, you see, you are too, 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 listen, 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 listen. Everybody, every man of God is anointed. He has something to give. Now, they are warning us that some people are antichrist. I want to, they are called seducers. Are they, who are they, son? Are they 
Are they Hindu priests? They are pastors. They are men. Men whose God is their belly. Now we have wrought, these men have wrought a work and that work is the doctrine of the Father and the Son. Then verse 9 now says, who transgressed is one in them. When you want to see a transgressor, he goes around damaging the work. So the elect lady should be careful with her children. Keep your children away from who? From deceivers and seducers. They had transgressor. Very soon in the church, the feet of transgressor will be clearly seen. They won't tiptoe like a thief and come in unaware because our floor will be lit. Then we will say, This is not an ordinary, this is an ahena. What is he doing around this? It's not a sheep. So anyone who transgresses abided not in the doctrine of Christ, anybody who has injured Christ can handle God. He's got no God. To have God, he must have abided in the doctrine of Christ. And he that had and anyone who abided in Christ will certainly have the Father. And he will have Usa and the Son. Are we blessed today? I want to apologize tonight for this uh, rough intervention. Tomorrow, by his grace, we'll make sure it does not happen. Before I start tomorrow, we'll play that, that prophecy. Amen. Uh, sir? Sir, Pastor. I want you to, amen. Praise God, sir. I know you're passionate, but we shouldn't, sir. Tomorrow we'll do that, sir. Amen. Thank you, sir. Jeff, take this interpretation, please. Are you there for now? Oh, for my. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Ways. 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 Ways of ease and ah, ways of gear, was a was he ways, ways in way ah, you see ways, ways. Your way, way me ways, 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 ways. I way. I await the am I way is the way. I way. This is the I await way. Way way way. This is way. Way the way are hey way 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 hey way I way the may I hi my way I go way my way way I way that so I hi my way this my way hi way my way. This is the way. Kakaima, Asia, 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 As
Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's me. This is me. I am. It's me, I am. Me. This is me. This is me. This is me sounding. This is me teaching. I am the one. I am the one. I am the one. I am the one showing. I am the one. Do not ask yourself what manner of teaching, what manner of message, what manner of journey, what manner of scriptures, what manner is this? Don't ask. Don't ask. Believe. 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 It's time again to believe. It's time to believe. It's time to believe for year, year. This is another, even another apostolic only, only dimension of the way. Even the dimension of the way for year, what is coming down is the eyes of the way. The eyes of the way. And the tongue of the way. The eyes and the tongue of the way. Even us. The equipment for this apostolic journey. Even the journey of the way. The journey of the way. The journey of the way. Know the way. Learn the way. Hear the way. Hear the way. Hear the way for yeah, my ways are ways of love. These are ways of love for yeah, the highway of love. The love way is opening. I come, 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 I come. Even in this manner of speaking and in this manner of teaching. For even the season of the way. For there, there will be many, 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 many more nights like this. Many such nights like this of such visitation. For here, the visitation of the way is upon the earth. This is the season of the way. The apostolic season of the way is upon the earth. So hear your apostle. Listen to him. For he is my apostle. Even my apostle of the way, even at this time, he will show the way. As I show to him, he will show it. Even your daddy, Reverend Kayode Oyegoke, my apostle now of the way. I'm showing him my way. As I show him my way, follow, follow, follow. Believe, believe, believe as you believe. Your belief will turn into sight. You will begin to see. 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 For here yeah, this land is before you. Even the land of the Father and the land of the Son. They are land of inheritance. Inheritance of love. Inheritance of love. Even the inheritance of the kingdom of the dear Son and even the Father and the Son. Of his love. See at the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. We had serious visitation tonight. I so my so my so I in a kick coquet. I am an eco cat into you. I am an eco cat into you all. Mercy. I can only get you to make you see. I have come to make you see. I not to not to make you see it. It's your night to see me. I am I to make you see it. I come to you. Micah, I am here. I'm the one. I cause you all to see him. I'm the one making you to see him. Even him. Micah is making you to see him. I, Michael, is causing you to see him, him, him there, him up. I cause you all to see him. I'm the one who is causing you to see Jesus. I'm the one causing you to know him. I am the one who is making you to see him. I am lying to make you up to come and see him. 
I am the one who is causing you, making you um, to see him. I am Michael. I come to make you come. I have come to make you to come up. You have seen him. You have come up to see him. You are in him. You have seen him. You still see him. You are not seeing him. I will cause you to know him. I am here to make you to see him. To see him. To know him. I am here from Jesus. I am, I am not, I'm here from Jesus. I'm not him. I am from Jesus. I am not him. I came from Jesus. I am not him. Jesus. Jesus is Jesus. He is Jesus. Uh, he is, he is Jesus Christ. He is Jesus Christ. It's him. Is there. But you are seeing him. You are seeing him. I've come to cause you to see him. He is him. Him. He is him. It is him. He is there. Jesus is there. He is, he is there. Jesus is there. It is him. It is him. It is him. Thank you, Pastor Jeff. Uh, give praise to God. I want to tell Pastor Lami Corasa. Pastor Lami Corasa. Thank you, Sir Thank you, Sir Pastor Parks. Thank you. We fall hell the war tonight. <laughs> We've got victory. We've got Begin in time, begin in time. I call on to a very light, a 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 light, Hey, 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 hey. Time at war. Time at war. Come here, I call. I came here. 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 I cool like it. Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? Shut up. I open your father. I open your father. Iraka take me. Am I cool? K K K K. Ila ilantwa. I I I I. Oh, cool to erase that. Take, it's a take, take your light, take your light, take your light in your entire faith, say, totally entire separate.
Amen. Amen. Pastor Jeff, Pastor Jeff, is there any interpretation? Is there any interpretation? So we can just we can just Samahala Marusia Hano. Ama haite mahano susi prehena masuske eva hene karima sasa prente pariyara ma uku kumiyara maha. Ame sien jara ma shushien tapara ma kuriya tapasa susi ya pesepre me sembra tapata palima de kaya lende maika la maika. Aimi yala kamaika makali ya makai metia kamaiki yala makai hiel makai hiel. Iyel kaimi yel aike la yel maika aike yel. Aimi ya haike la maiki yel ye kai yel el ki yel. Aiki hiel hai makai 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 kel yel el el. Hai makai si makai makai yel. Aiki ya mehek makai makai yel. Hai makai yel. I'm siya makai yel. I'm siya makai yel. I'm siya nta makai yel. I'm siya makai makai yel makana. Ali ya monsuni makala makai yel makai. Amakaho, 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 Amakiel, I'm a Kiel, 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 I
it feels like it's just starting but uh, uh, the season is just starting uh, yeah so uh, please rest and come uh, strong tomorrow prepared for the Lord to crown the, the blessing of this meeting with uh, the two awesome sessions praise God um, good night I think that's it God bless you no announcement alright see you tomorrow God bless you